Tuscaloosa's longest running sports show. The biggest goal of our team, especially in the first half, we at Bama, we're trying to be the best. Always is to win a national championship. It's something cool to look back on. We don't want to waste the failure. You're inside the game. John Lecce on the ground. Appreciate your interest in the game. On your home for Alabama sports. And Alabama wins. Tide 100.9. And streaming on the Tide 100.9 app. Powered by Tuscaloosa Toyota. And now, now, here's your award-winning host. Ryan, Ryan Fowler. And a big good afternoon to you. Welcome into the game. T-Town Tide at 100.9, 1230 WTBC. Your home of Alabama Crimson Tide Sports Band. We're going to have a lot of fun today. I mean, we are going to sit back and enjoy the day. We're going to sit back and enjoy an SEC parlay pick contest. And we will do that every single day. Uh, every Friday is presented by Brian Harden Construction. We are always powered by Tuscaloosa Toyota. TuscaloosaToyota.com, 3325 Scotland Boulevard, and online lot at TuscaloosaToyota.com. Today we're going to sit back and we're going to do this parlay pick contest. We're going to have a chance to, uh, to take your phone calls. We don't have a guest until 3.30. So Paul and Lincoln, uh, actually, is it Robert and Mobile? Uh, my computer was giving me a little bit of an issue here, but... Uh, uh, may have to let you you lock them in right there. So I, I may have to get you to, to, to go through those calls. But we'll do the parlay pick contest presented by Brian Harden Construction, ASME certification, I-beam installation, fabrication. If you're building from the ground up, let's build something together. It is Brian Harden Construction every Friday made possible by those great folks right there. Tuscaloosa Toyota powers the program. 3325 Skyland Boulevard and online at Toyota.com. If you're looking for Camry Corolla, at RAV4, Highlander, Tundra, Tacoma, two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, buy three tires, get that fourth tire for only $1. It is happening at Tuscaloosa Toyota, TuscaloosaToyota.com. David DeSantis. Daniel Moore is one of our great sponsors. They have been double-digit years. We've had a great partnership with these guys. We've, they give us the chance to give away a lot of great stuff. And we have an absolute honor to be able to make an announcement right here on the show uh, that's not been released. Nothing. There's nothing. There's not even email blast that's been sent out. They gave us permission to make the announcement here on the air that we will be doing a commemorative print to honor Alabama's win over Georgia. It will feature Ryan Williams and that famous 75-yard touchdown catch. Uh, you can find it at DanielMoreArt.com. The preliminary sketch is not available yet. But remember, everything they do at Daniel Moore is 100% satisfaction guaranteed. So if you buy it and you say, hold on, man, I don't like that, uh, that's okay. That's okay. Not everybody does. But uh, most of us love, uh, and, and this is the awesome thing, Deuces Wild. That's going to be the name of the print, Deuces Wild. Uh, number two, catching it, and then Zabian Brown, uh, will be right down in the corner. Uh, the bottom will be the interception. So you'll have Ryan Williams with a famous catch, and then it will be Xavier Brown's interception. And they're going to roll back some pre-publication prices. The retail of this uh, is going to be able to offer for a really awesome deal. And, and we were looking, Jeff and I were looking back at some of the deals that uh, we have offered over the years. And you got to go back to 2018 with Tua Tungavaloa, well, the last time that they've been able to offer this rise price. And they are going to offer a pre-publication price uh, with Ryan Williams featured Alabama taking down number two and two and two and two. I mean, there's a lot of twos. I mean, the ball was caught at 226, which goes back to Alabama's last win over Georgia. But DanielMoreArt.com, DanielMoreArt.com, and uh, they're going to release this email. So if you guys are on the list, you'll be able to see that uh, in, in all the different details. But we'll talk about Alabama getting the win. Wow, what a game. What a game. You know, Rodney Orr, when he said it yesterday, I stopped in my tracks because Rodney is one of those guys that I highly respect his knowledge around Alabama Crimson Tide football. But when you look at – he said it right here on the air. He said, I think that's one of the greatest plays in Alabama history. I agree. I agree. Uh, listen, would I put it at number one? No, but I'd put it up there at the top three. I mean, it, it was – think about the momentum slingshot for Kalen DeBoer right now, beating Georgia. Because if Georgia comes back and they beat Alabama, you got to look at the consequences of losing that game. So winning that game – it's pretty awesome. DanielMoreArt.com. DanielMoreArt.com. So remember, you tell, tell them that you heard about it right here on the program. They've also got, I think they're almost done. You can email them. 
But I think the autograph editions, we've been talking about this for several weeks on the legend print, Nick Saban. I think they're all out. Uh, we, we had a limited number of selection of those and Daniel Moore came on and announced that on the air. So now we get a chance to be a, another part of the release. Ryan Williams, deuces wild, deuces wild. Number two, catching the pass, beating number two. But then it was Zabian Brown that sealed that. He's also going to be featured on the image as well. And uh, Daniel Moore is, uh, is going to have his canvas ready. Who knows? It may be a special year. And uh, that, that print will even become even more special as we get ready. So we'll do our parlay pick contest. Got a lot of big games this weekend. Let's run through some of these games. And what we'll do is we'll do three picks just like we do each and every every week. And then we'll do a 2025 calendar by the way they've got some special calendar prices at danielmoreart.com but uh we're going to give away a 2025 calendar we'll give away some uh dinner to el gran patreon uh in and, and and you can find a great location there on mcfarland boulevard uh we always do this each and every week so we congratulate we'll also award our winner from last week as well uh let's go through the picks let's go through the picks you got missouri texas a&m Missouri minus the two and a half, 54 and a half is where we'll play that. Auburn's going to be taking on Georgia. It is Auburn minus the 22, 52 and a half. Ole Miss going to be taking on South Carolina. Ole Miss minus the nine, 52 and a half is where we'll lock that one as well. Ole Miss in, on the road at South Carolina. Three and one, one and one in the SEC. Ole Miss, zero oh and one of the SEC, four and one overall. Ole Miss goes to Columbia, South Carolina. They go there as a favorite. Ole Miss minus the nine, 52 and a half. We'll go Alabama and Vanderbilt. And I was looking just a couple of minutes ago. We're going to lock this at 22 and a half. Last week, I, I even gave you a little bit of a bonus points. Uh, so we locked it a little early, but it's 22 and a half against Alabama and Vanderbilt. 52 and a half. Also, uh, excuse me, that number is not 52. It's 54 and a half. 54 and a half. Let me repeat that. Uh, it is 54. Four and a half. 22 and a half is the number. Tennessee travels to Arkansas. Tennessee minus the 13 and a half, 56 and a half. Central Florida goes to Florida. Uh, this is UCF. Wow, think about that, man. How would you like to know? I mean, put this into perspective. What if South Alabama or UAB or Troy or, I mean, a school that came to your place? I mean, let that sink in. UCF, UCF, the under, excuse me, the favorite against Florida. I mean, that stinks. Gators, UCF minus the two, 61 and a half is the line. We're going to put a couple of non-conference games in there as well. We'll play Miami minus the 10 versus California out in Berkeley. And we'll play Michigan at Washington. UW, I mean, we feel bad for UW. I mean, we took their freaking football coach. and But, I mean, they, they're off to a pretty good start. UW's actual favorite in this game against the Michigan Wolverines. We'll play that at UW minus one and a half. UW minus the one and a half. Uh, we'll play that one, and then we'll play Iowa at Ohio State. Ohio, uh, Ohio State minus the 18 and a half. Michigan State versus Oregon. That game's in Eugene. It's it's a later uh, today game. Oregon minus the 23 and a half. And then we'll also honor our military branches, as we love to do on this program. Navy and Air Force. Navy minus the 10. Navy thumped our UAB, and now we'll see if they can continue that. That will be an Air Force Academy, so it's uh, Navy minus the 10. We'll throw it out there. You pick three games, and uh, we'll start it out with Paul and Lincoln. Why'd you like you had something to say, man? You got the mic. Clemson. I was just going to say, no Clemson, Florida State, battle for the ACC. Well, I mean, if you had asked me preseason if that game would have been on our parlay pick, but, I mean, it, it's – I mean, Florida State is like the embarrassing team of the ACC. I mean, you look at Florida State uh, – I mean, I guess it's just a confirmation that Greg Byrne did not go uh, that direction with Mike Norvell. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, I think Kalen Boer, uh, I, I still think that was a, a Jimmy Sexton leak out there that put Mike Norvell and got him a little bit of a raise. Uh, Jimmy Sexton's kind of known for that, leaking those coaches out there. Hey, this guy's an, look how many coaches got a raise just off, off of the Alabama opening, the vacancy. But Kalen Boer has got this team rolling. We go to Nashville, and right now we are going, and I keep saying Paul and Lincoln. I guess he's always so first. We'll go to Robert in Mobile. Robert, good afternoon. You're in the game. I hope all is well, my friend. Hey, yeah. Uh, thought you were going to Paul, too. <laughs> I, well, and, and I keep looking up at the time, and the time was re- – he, he, you beat him by like 10 minutes. So uh, Paul's, oh, okay. pa- Paul's, you know, he, he's slipping on the job, man, not being the first guy. He's normally the first guy. Um, so I hope I didn't throw you a curveball. My apologies if I did. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Normally I think if I don't call how do you 
like the name Deuces Wild. I mean, I like that. When they told me the name of the print, I was like, yes, yes, I like it. I like it. Deuces Wild. Deuces Wild. Where did they get that from? <laughs> well, you Where got, did they do Wild? well, you had number two catch the touchdown pass, right? Ryan mm-hmm. Williams. So you had Ryan Williams catching the, the pass. You had number two, Zabian Brown, intercepting the pass, who sealed the touchdown to beat number two. Oh, okay. So you had deuces oh. wild. Uh, a lot of deuces. Okay. A lot of deuces. Uh, two plus two equals W. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I, you know, I didn't realize that was uh, Kale and the Boys' first SEC win. I, you know, until I think some, till, uh, today someone mentioned it. I was like, oh, wow, that is actually true. Yeah, I, how would you? you I mean, well, and that's another part of the print, right? I mean, you think about that. I mean, it, it is, you know, it's Kale and the Boys, we, we hope, one of many. One of many when you look at the, you know, win over the SEC opponent. But, I mean, think about what we where we would be if, if Georgia had won that game. Oh, yeah. Well, like I was saying earlier, before they played it, the loser of the game, uh, you know, not that they'll not make the playoffs, but three more, uh, you can find a schedule on either one of our schedules. Uh, all of a sudden, three losses, which puts you out pretty much, is, you know, that's on the table. Now, it's on the table for us. We're not going to lose three. We're not going to lose three. <laughs> but it's all definitely on the table for Georgia now. Uh, you know, not making the playoff is is possible for Georgia. So yeah, I mean it was definitely huge. His first uh, SEC game, and it was that uh, the like with the game of the year. It's crazy! Wow, it's crazy! I mean, it's just, I mean, think about that. I mean, that when that print, when you've got to hang it on your living room, uh, you're going to be able to look up and say, "Hey, what a win! What a win!" I mean, but but I mean, think about it from a negative standpoint from Georgia. I mean, what we should do is buy a bunch of these and send them to our Georgia friends. I mean, I know they would probably end up in the fireplace, but just to kind of uh-huh. aggravate him a little bit. I mean, because, I mean, we're we're so much in their head. Kirby Smart no longer has a Alabama Nick Saban problem. He just has an Alabama problem. I mean, Kalen DeBoer, I mean, think about that. I mean, everything that they've tried to do, whether you go back to second and 26, the 41-yard reception, uh, the mistakes in the SEC title game that allowed us to beat them uh, the following year. I mean, we are so much in their head. I mean, they have one win, and it was full of injuries. But, I mean, it still counts. I mean, they won a national title. So, uh, but I'll I, look back and see who was the last team besides Alabama to beat them. Nobody. Well, I, nobody. I mean, you got to go back like, you go back well, like you know, four years. Well, no, but I mean, you got to go back like four years. I mean, they have an undefeated yeah. record. Other than Alabama, well, <laughs> it's kind of like what kind of like what uh, Michael Jordan did to a lot of great NBA players back in the day. We have a one for a Michael Jordan, you know, the Charles Barkley. We have a how many NBA championships? Uh, I looked at. I guess I looked that up. Who was the last team that, other than Alabama to beat Georgia? You I know, I don't, I, don't, LSU, right? I don't. I don't know. I guess it would probably would it be twenty nineteen LSU. I can't. I don't have to look that up. I think that's the only thing that comes to mind. Twenty nineteen LSU. Wow, that's just amazing. I mean, I, I'm embarrassed <laughs> to tell you that I don't know, but it, it's it's kind of it kind of also by me saying I don't know kind of put some more important emphasis on it, right? I mean, that's that's where it is when you look yeah. at that. So, man, this is awesome. I mean, to look at that win, special man, special. And I mean, college football, the game with it itself, the season with it itself, you grab momentum. And that's why I want to see tomorrow. I want to see Alabama come out with Vanderbilt and punch him in the mouth because we're going to see if this team, you know, was like us. Because Robert, be honest, have you had a hard time moving past the Georgia win and focusing? Oh, well, absolutely on not. You uh, yeah, um, yeah, um, I'm, I'm, no, I, yeah, no, I haven't. I, 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 yes, you know, have absolutely not. I'm still watching uh, clips and highlights of it. I, mean, I can't we, tell you how many times yeah. I've seen the. Uh, oh, me whatever too. That I watched the Japanese. I watched the Japanese version last night. Uh, <laughs> I had to find and, that. Yeah, well, no, I put, it, I put it on my Facebook account. You can go to Ryan uh, Fowler. Okay. Just do a search for me, Ryan Fowler on Facebook, and I put it up on my Facebook account. Uh, we got about thirty three thousand people that follow us on Facebook. Thank you. We appreciate that. Uh, but we put it up. We put the Japanese version, we put the American version, and then we put the uh, the, the Mexican version, the Spanish version, and then and we looped it all in there. We put it all where you don't have to go and search for it. We put it all together right there for you. So it's pretty awesome when you look at it uh, and you hear the call. I was asking people which one was your favorite. I kind of like the Japanese call uh, of the seventy. They, they are always more. They are always more excited to listen to. Yeah. You know, Kalen DeVore's first ACC game, and you have the game of the year, and 
former president showing up, and everybody in the uh, uh, who cares about college football watching. You talk about pressure, and the guy comes out shining like that. And he's, he's six and zero. He's six and zero against these big time coaches too. That's what's crazy. Yeah, he, uh, he's definitely a winner. And you know, you know, I used to think LSU fans had the most reason to hate Alabama and Nick Saban because we took Nick Saban from them, and otherwise they would have been Alabama. I'm going to think Georgia fans are the ones with the most reason to hate Alabama now. It's like you would own college football undisputedly if it weren't for that script A. Yeah, you you would be the unchallenged emperor of college football. Well, and, and that's, why, that one that's why my buddy Matt Moscata <laughs> down, in, down in Baton Rouge continues to go on a rant about Alabama and recruits and all this because we own them. It, it's It goes back. That's where That's why they get upset. Because think about how many national titles LSU would have if it wasn't for that yep. script A. Well, and Georgia now. <laughs> and jo- well, Georgia, and Georgia, you even go back pre-Kirby Smart. You go back 2012, yeah. Mark Rick, yeah. they would have won the national title that year. They would have beaten Notre Dame and yeah. Miami Gardens. No doubt, no doubt. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the, the list of Andy Alabama haters is just keeps growing up. That's okay. We, and and yeah, to me, that's, that's what that confirmation, <laughs> that's why I'm going to celebrate this print, is because when you, when you go back and you think about that moment, because they all counted all of us. It's okay, on the boar. Okay, on the boar. Okay, on the boar. You know, he's nothing like Nick Saban. He's not this. He's not this. And then he opens up a can and just absolutely, you know, runs them out of the first half. Now they come back and, you know, give them credit for that. But also when you look back and you think about that win, uh, it was a confirmation that I think we've got the right coach. I mean, if you, if you had any doubt, yeah. So. Real quick, my oh hey hey, real qu- real quick, and I I guess someone caught me on this. I guess I said Auburn minus the twenty two. Did I say that Auburn minus the twenty two? Yeah, my bad, my bad. It's Georgia minus UGA minus the twenty two. I was reading oh. on my phone, and I, I let me let me let me claim a mulligan, okay? Uh, I don't know what I don't know what happened from the time Christian got up. We have about a two minute transition where he gets up and I sit down. Sometimes it's it's less than that. I sit down. And I was trying to log in. I couldn't even log in on my computer. Now I'm fine. I got all my, I got my, my notes and everything right here in front of me. But for a couple of seconds, I was going, uh, uh, I, I was having to read it my phone. So my apologies. I tell you what, why don't I just do this? Uh, let me run back through those lines and make it be fair to you. Um, so we got Missouri at Texas A&M. Okay. Watch you, you look like you, you got something. I was, I was, I didn't want to correct it, you know, on the air, but you also said Missouri is the two and a half point favorite. It's Texas A&M. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't want to correct you on the air. No, I'm glad you did. Well, and I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm staring at my little bitty phone on the print that I've got. So I'm, uh, uh, I, I, I stand corrected. I stand corrected. So, uh, there we go. So, uh, that was the, that was the games that we were playing. So let me, let me run back through those. And if you catch any more, uh, holler at me, but uh, it, it's Texas A&M, which is the favorite. Four and zero, one and zero, traveling to Texas A&M. Four and one, two and zero in the SEC. By the way, uh, Texas A&M maybe to a little better, you know, maybe better start um, under a new football coach, Mike Elko. So uh, Texas A&M is the favorite. Two and a half, fifty four and a half is where we'll play that. Auburn, Georgia, Georgia minus the twenty two, fifty two and a half. Ole Miss at South Carolina, Ole Miss minus the nine, fifty two and a half. Alabama going to Vanderbilt. 22 and a half is where we're going to lock that. 54 and a half is the game total. Tennessee traveling to Arkansas. Tennessee minus the 13 and a half. 56 and a half is the total. And then Central Florida. I mean, like, that's one that you want to go back and look at. I mean, could you imagine, Robert, no offense, but you went to South Alabama. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> could you imagine South Alabama coming to Tuscaloosa and being the favorite? <laughs> That wouldn't happen on any planet. <laughs> well, but I mean, I'm sure Florida fans would probably say that 10 years ago. Uh, Central Florida is the favorite. I mean, let that sink that in. That's amazing. That I mean, is amazing. I mean, the fighting gusses. Uh, Central Florida 3-1, and one, Florida 2-2, two and 1-1 two, one and one in the SEC. The only win coming to Mississippi State in the SEC. UCF minus the 2, 61 and a half. And then the non-conference games that we'll play, We'll go Miami minus 10. They're out at Berkeley against California, and Michigan goes to UW. UW minus the one and a half. Iowa going to Ohio State. Ohio State minus the 18 and a half. Michigan State versus Oregon in Eugene. Oregon minus the 23 and a half. Navy versus Air Force. Navy minus the 10. The only reason I put a couple of non conference games in there is because we have a lot of bye weeks in the Southeastern Conference. Robert, let's go with tiebreaker. Where do you want to go? Oh, I'm going to go uh, Auburn's passing yards. 
Oh, so you, you <laughs> now hold on. We always like to say Alabama, though, do we not? On the tiebreaker. Yeah, I mean, yeah I'm picking on Auburn, though. I don't think you're going to get very many. <laughs> Okay, I mean, you know, well, if, you, if, you, if it's too much for your call, I guess I'll pick something Alabama. I can't think of anything else Alabama. We, we run through so well, much. Well, we, we did Vanderbilt total <laughs> offensive yards. Hey, let me let me throw one to you, okay? And I'm not I'm not going to select it, but I'm going to give you the option. How about we go rushing yards? Because we think we need to get oh, right. this yeah, yeah, we need to get right. this cranked right. up, okay? Yeah, I like uh, that. I like that. You're right. right. You're right. Okay. Uh, okay. Alabama's rushing yard, definitely. I, I was the one saying I wanted to see that this next. You time. did. You did. You did earlier <laughs> this week. You did. Yep. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Florida. It's gonna, it's not going to allow that to happen. The loose uh, USL, UCF. So I'm going Florida with that one. I just, I'm just sorry. I got to believe in you. All right. I got you. And I'm going to go. And of course, I want Alabama. I mean, I, I, they're going to they're going to uh, stomp a mud hole in uh, <laughs> in right. uh, the Andy. and uh. Georgia, I, I, you know, Auburn's due for something good to happen. You know, cover the spread, but I don't think they will. I think I think it's just going to be tank for them. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, most Auburn can hope for is cover the spread. I don't think they're going to do it. All right, and then we go Bama rushing yards. Where do you want to go? Oh, boy, we put like three, four hundred yards on them at one point in time, didn't we? Uh, we go. actually had four ninety nine, <laughs> four ninety nine yeah. a few years ago. That was 2016 um, or 2017 when we went up there. That was the game that we played the audio clip yesterday. I don't want Melville to be the leading rusher, so I don't want him running a lot. But I, it's time to get this running game going. I'm, I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to go. I'm going to go uh, uh, 285. I'll take that. I'll take that right now. 285, Robert, and about 265 of that coming the, via the running backs. And uh, let's take some pressure off Jalen Melrose and uh, maybe get him. You know, because we need to save some tread on those tires. Because uh-huh, absolutely, he, he is a weapon. He is a weapon. But uh, man, thank you so much, man. I appreciate right, you man. as always. Thank you, uh, Robert in Mobile. Deuces wild. We just released it just a couple of minutes ago. DanielMoreArt.com. DanielMoreArt.com. Deuces wild. That will be the new print. They're going to have a print commemorating the big win against UGA. Ryan Williams. Catching the touchdown, and then in a small corner there, uh, they'll have Zabian Brown with the interception, and and you had a chance. So um, we retweeted that poll a couple of weeks ago, excuse me, a couple of days ago, and it was by far 76.3% voted the Ryan Williams catch. And I kept hinting that it might be a possibility, that it might be a possibility. 76.3% chose that play. So you had a chance. Um and I love I love the print. I love the the moment uh, Ryan Williams retook that lead, and then Ryan Williams sealed it uh, that that allowed that win. You could also buy the legend when you check out. Tell them what you heard about it. DanielMoreArt.com. DanielMoreArt.com. We'll talk to Lee Sterling at four o'clock. We will talk to Brent Beard at three thirty, and we'll take more of your phone calls coming up in just a couple of minutes. T Town Tide one hundred point nine twelve thirty Tide one hundred point nine twelve thirty WTBC. Your home of Alabama Crimson Tide Sports. Now we will take Paul in Lincoln. Paul, good afternoon. You're in the game. I hope all is well. Doing good, Ryan. Coming to you from uh, Manchester, Tennessee on the I twenty four headed to Nashville. Ooh, buddy. okay. So you're going up to support the Tide. Should be a big, uh, um, big group. Me and my lovely wife Becky were uh we're on the road and uh in fact we're uh fixing to get off here at Manchester and uh so yeah, we're uh, we're going Does up it, to the time. If you look there there should be a city limit sign and then right below, you know like how they do the celebrities, there should be a sign right under the city limits that says home of Ellis. Of Ellis. From the, Tennessee. The last duck through the hole. The last yeah. duck through the hole. It should be a sign right there that says uh, home of Ellis from Manchester, Tennessee. So, uh, Well, we're, uh, that's good to know. That's I mean, think about how much publicity he has brought to Manchester, Tennessee. I know. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. It I mean, really I mean, is. Like Paul and Lincoln. I mean, you need to go to the Lincoln mayor and you, you should – yeah, you should. Yeah, you should never have to uh, pay for a cup of coffee in Lincoln because of the publicity <laughs> that you have brought it's that a city. Mile, making U turn. Well, it, that, that's that's right, man. You know, I've uh, you know, I try to uh, I try to bring it when I'm uh, when I'm calling, my man. So uh, we are in quite a bit of traffic. Let me let me go ahead. I know you got Brent coming up. Let me go ahead and give you. Uh, well, my I need, uh, but, here. but but hold on before before we got to do this though. But we got to embrace the. Yeah. 
We do. We have to embrace the suck. Because, I mean, uh, that there's, rhythm there's, has there's, helped. Since we changed the the spelling of S-U-C-K to S-A-U-C-K, I mean, this team's lost a lot of football games. I don't want to do anything to have. upset that. We don't. We yes. We don't want to mess anything up. So let's all let's all embrace the suck. That's S A U C K. That's what it is. And the A U the A U stands for the Auburn Tigers. I mean, I <laughs> hope Georgia thumps him tomorrow. But uh, all right, Paul. Yeah, there, exactly. There's going to be a lot of a lot of uh, weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, okay, I wanted every. The Robert picked those three. That's exactly the the, the route I was going to go. Okay. Uh, so you Florida. believe in you believe in Gus? I mean, here you are taking up for Gus. I knew it. No, 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 I'm picking the Gators. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. I'm, yeah. I'm picking the Gators. I, I I don't think Florida. If 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 Billy Napier, if they lose that game, Billy Napier will not be the coach past Sunday in Gainesville. I'm telling you, if they lose to Central Florida. Uh, I'm afraid that the, the, those bull gators down there will take matters into their own hands. Yeah, and I was talking to a big UAB supporter earlier today. Uh, if Billy Napier gets fired, they're on Trent Dilfer's butt up at UAB. I mean, they're on his butt big time because of some things that he said in the public spotlight earlier this week. Um, so Trent Dilfer, uh, Dilfer's dimes may, may not make it. Uh, they want Billy Napier. Oh, well, yeah, he, I, if he comes, uh, like I said, if he loses uh, tomorrow, uh, UAB is going to have their shot at him. Yeah, because Billy, uh, well, Billy was a heck of a football coach at Louisiana. I mean, he, he won a lot yeah, of football yeah. games. so He he did. But Florida's he a did. mess he administratively. I, I don't blame it all on Billy Napier. There's too many good coaches that have went through that organization and just not been able to find wins. I, I find it more of internal problem than I do a coach problem. All right, I, I do too. Um, they've got they've got expect well, you know they've got a trophy case. Unlike the book, the Gators do have a trophy case uh, somewhat. Um, so, uh, but yeah, give me uh, give me Florida, give Bama. me uh, Alabama, and give me the, the the Kirby Bulldogs. All right, and then total rushing yards for your Alabama Crimson Tide. Give me two hundred and ninety one. Two ninety one. I got it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Paul. Roll Tide and Roll MAGA. Roll Tide. Hope you have a great trip, man, to Nashville. Enjoy this day, man. Paul and Lincoln helping us out there. Uh, we'll continue. Let's go to Bubba in Northport. Bubba, good afternoon. You're in the game. I hope all is well. As all well, man, sitting here in the pickup line at Northport Elementary. <laughs> oh, sounds like a lot of fun. Are you going back to school? No, I, I'm, I'm in grandpa mode this afternoon. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, grandpa ain't mode. nothing like grandchildren. Nothing like grandchildren. Well, um, I'm glad other people have them. But uh, I'm going <laughs> to ask you. Yeah, uh, I'm not a kid guy, man. I'm trying to be nice, but uh, yeah, ki- kids. Okay, I, uh, I, I don't know, man. My patience. I'm, uh, trying, to, I'm trying. I'm trying to. Ma- I'm trying to imagine you as a grandpa one these days. Well, you here, got the beard for. Well, here, here's the thing. I, I wish there was restaurants that would ban kids. Okay. Uh, I understand that. I, I would have an adult much. only restaurant. No kids. No screaming kids. I mean, kids that be quiet, I'm okay with. No screaming kids. Hey, you, None. Zero. I, you scream, I know you're where gone. you can go to one. Go to Las Vegas. I'm sure there's some adult only restaurant there. Yeah. Now, now that now the world hates me because I said I'm not a big kid. Yeah. I just. I mean, I, I let everybody else have them. I mean, I mean, I'm not big on you know, especially okay. younger younger kids either. Yeah. So. The, yeah. The, the younger ones are just. I mean, it's. Uh, Man. Mine are six and two. Yeah, we we were one and done, and and we knew that two was not an option. Man, no thanks, no thanks. Right. Yeah, it was. Uh, and, and thankfully, the Lord blessed us with a very quiet kid, very quiet. Uh, there you go. Yeah, she, I, would, she I have was, the option. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, and I knew that we were going to get paid back. Uh, because they always say that you pay for your raisings, and I knew that I'd cause way too much grief to get a quiet one. So the next one was going to be a, mm-hmm. a little hellion. Uh, I mean, no thanks, no thanks. So we we played the lottery, and uh, we're okay, we're okay. But uh, yeah, I mean, only child. There's probably some disadvantages, but there's also some uh, 
you know, some spoiled rotten too. Uh, I mean, yeah, mine are red with me, so <laughs> I think <mean> worse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, did, did did you see that uh, block that Jam Miller put on that guy? Yeah, and hey, my that, my my nephew, I guess, is listening, and I'm not talking about you, yeah. uh, Mr. Eli. I'm not talking about you. I was talking about another kid. Okay, so. Uncle Ryan doesn't like kids. I mean, see what you got me into, Bubba? I mean, here you took me out to him. Yeah, see what you did? I mean, you drugged me. Eli, not you, buddy. Not you. You're, you're a good kid. You're a good kid. I was talking about the other kids. You don't ever scream at restaurants. You used to maybe years ago, but not anymore. It's good. Sorry about that. Did you, did you see that video of that block of Jam Miller? I saw it live. That I saw it live because it was over in the corner, which is okay. where our press box is. Okay. That... I have noticed this year our blocking from our receivers and running backs is a lot better. A lot better. Would you agree? Uh, yeah. I think that's an area that they have taken to another um, Jam Miller. Man, oh, man, oh, man. And the poor kid afterwards, I don't even know his name, but uh, he he went to the film room, or not the film room, the press room, and said that his chin strap was not buckled. Well, I bet he'll buckle it this week. I bet you will too. That's probably a bruise I, right there. I saw I saw one of our receivers miss the block, and when he came over the sidelines, Coach Shepard gave him one up and down, buddy. He yeah. met him. <laughs> hey, my nephew just but, hey, gave, my, my, my nephew just gave me an out. He said you don't like Auburn kids. No, I don't like them either. No, I mean that, those are because okay. most of them little Auburn kids okay. are rebellion. They got Alabama parents, and they just want to be the opposite, right? Parents love Alabama. Embrace the yeah. suck. Yeah. Embrace the suck, as Paul likes to say. S-A-U-C-K. That's right. I love it. I love it. And, I mean, Paul always right. got by without not saying that today, too. But, uh, oh, I know. Yeah. All right. Now, hey. now I'm getting messages Man. all over my family. Like my older brother just sent me a message and says, "Man, you are a bad <laughs> uncle." I'm just kidding, okay? I, I mean, I just. Okay. I mean, I, I think about the worst thing that I. I mean, I'd rather have a root canal uh, than go to the pickup line at the kids' school. Man, that that would just not be. Uh, yeah, it would not be. Oh my lord. I don't know oh, if you're familiar. Kids. Oh, please. If you're familiar with Northport Elementary, it winds all the way behind the line. Field, all the way down to the softball field. Yeah, t- tell them to take an Uber. I mean, give them some money to take an Uber. Cap, <laughs> yeah. you know, somebody will pick them up. But uh, here we go. All right, here we go, Bubba. Here we go. I mean, hey, you always drag me all, all into crazy stuff. You ever notice that, Bubba? I mean, whether you're chasing oh, women, no, you're tripping on a sidewalk. I mean, you, you, you know, it's. I mean, I guess I'm guilty by association, but uh, I'm sorry. I apologize. All right, and, and all those parents out there at the pickup lines probably turned the radio off because I said I don't like kids. But, uh, right. Yeah. All right, here we go, Bubba. Here we go. Georgia. Georgia. Rocky Top, Tennessee. Man, this call is getting worse. I better end it before the building falls down. Uh, Tennessee, uh, pick number Alabama. three. Alabama. I mean, you want to take Alabama. you want to you, you take the devil or Satan here? You, you want to go with him too? I mean, no. Okay. No. You want to go back? No. Okay, so that's your salvage pick. And then rushing yards for your Alabama Crimson Tide. 287. 287. 287. I got it, man. Thank you. Roll Tide. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever be able to rebound from that one, but, uh, man, I'm getting a lot of – I'm getting I'm getting a lot uh, – getting a lot of hate mail. My bad. Maybe, maybe I'll find somebody else. Maybe Tommy's got my back. We'll ask him next. T-Town Tide, 100.9, Game day all day. Game day all day. Uh, that will start tomorrow morning, uh, 10 a.m. Is that right? 10 a.m., 10, 15, 10, 15, I believe is the exact time. Is that right or is it 10 a.m.? Straight at 10. We'll start at 10 a.m. We'll start at 10 a.m. Uh, and I will actually be doing the post-game show. So uh, I invite you to, uh, to join us. We're going to be at walk-ons. And that is two hours beyond the game. So they'll do a two-hour game on CTSM. We're the flagship home of Alabama Crimson Tide football. And we'll do all those guys following the game. And then we'll pick it up from walk-ons uh, somewhere around 8 o'clock. Uh, so come by and say hello to us. Uh, Right there at Walk On, Scotland Boulevard. We're going to be broadcasting live, not just on Tide 100.9, but also 95.3 The Bear. 95.3 The Bear. We greatly appreciate them for uh, the invitation. And uh, I know Wyatt's headed to Vanderbilt. I mean, it's uh, 
all hands on deck when you look at uh, everything that we're having uh, this weekend. So we'll be covering it wall to wall, and we'll have a lot of great content. Remember to download the Tide 100.9 app, and you can listen to all of the calls. Tyler Watts, Chris Stewart, Roger Hoover, and Damian Square on the sidelines. Let's continue with more phone calls, and we go to Tommy and Romulus. Tommy, good afternoon. You're in the game. I hope all is well. All is well, Ron. How are you? Uh, Tommy, I need help, man. I mean, I, I've uh, I've dig I've dug a big hole. Are you going to offer me a rope, or are you going to push me and put the put the shovel the dirt on me? I'll try to help you. I was nice to you Wednesday, and I gave you a day off yesterday. <laughs> Let's see if I can go three days in a row being nice. Are you a kid guy too? We'll see. I have a secret weapon when I go to restaurant. I take my brother with me. He looked like Santa Claus, and I just point to the kid. I said, if you keep on being bad, this ho-ho there, you're not getting nothing for Christmas. And something, it worked. They showed up. It's amazing. I mean, that Santa it's Claus, amazing. that that thing's been played so much. Uh, I mean, it, it's, yeah, I mean, Santa Claus, yeah, cool but when Santa you look Claus. at my brother with that white beard, he's like, they all stop and look at him like, and they point at him, and I'm like, yes, yes. And I don't say nothing else and walk off. Yeah, it freaks them out. Sorry. I take that as a pure moment of enjoyment. Go ahead. What else? No, I mean, I'm just I'm just glad that I guess I'm the only one. I'm out here on an island by myself, the only one that, you know, but it, it's not just kids. Like, I can take well-behaved kids. It's just normally if they – not every place, but a lot of times I'll go to a restaurant and there'll be nine screaming kids over here and uh, they, they, they're throwing macaroni and cheese and here comes a piece of mashed potatoes and, you know, and, and, and it's the ones that the parents don't make them behave. That's the ones sure. that I can't stand. Whew. Oh, yeah. Nobody likes them. I mean, it's like, don't go to Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, listen, 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 listen. You know, these people that do these losers like fantasy, if you finish last place, make me spend like eight hours in a Chuck E. Cheese. That that would be, I mean, that'd be punishment with it itself. Oh, my heavens, man. Yeah, I, I would just, I don't know what I'd do. I, I, I mean, somebody. No, and don't go no places like a pizza restaurant or places that got, I mean, a small game room, like four games or machines. And they hit you up every 15 seconds. Quarter, 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 quarter. Yeah, where, where do you find a machine that costs a quarter? I mean, it's, I, mean I don't know. This I is, haven't played, in, I guess. In, in, in Joe's economy, this thing's like a dollar and a half, man. Oh, is it? Yeah, well, I yeah. haven't played a It's going to be two in Kamala's. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean. And she's going to well, tax it. Oh, the worst thing in the world you can have in a restaurant. And not box. only do you have to pay for your quarter, you got to pay for somebody else's if she wins. So yeah. you have to, yeah, so you got to get a worth that in. But the worst thing is, is that little claw thing. It, it's always been fifty cents. I bet you a dollar, dollar out. Are you good at that? Are you good no, at the I claw? Hate. No, okay. I'm terrible. No, I'm never. No, I did like our story when I was growing up, and um. Uh, yeah, I was a big Pac Man guy. Pac Man, Pac Man. That was the that was the good one. I mean, our graphics when we look back, I mean, I can't even believe it kept our attention. Uh, I had Atari 5600 or 5200. I can't remember. It was Atari 2600 and 5200. I think it's when they doubled it. But, uh, I mean, I look back at some of the graphics. I'm like, you mean to tell me we played this thing all day? Because, I mean, compared to what it is now, like, I mean, we we thought, like, football players were little squares. I mean, fo- like, I remember Bo Jackson with the Oakland Raiders. Tech Mobile. Yeah, and it was, I mean, it looked nothing like a football player. But, man, we thought we were playing football. I mean, it <laughs> Space, yeah, Space Invaders was always my game. Well, yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one, too. That was a good one. Uh, well, you'll laugh at me, what I'm getting ready to tell you. That we, all day on Saturday when it was raining in the wintertime, we had an electric football game. You know, with the line up the man, and you set the play, and you turn the thing up. I mean, we played all day, and it's not like somebody said, how do you old people play with that? I said, you had nothing else. Or if you're really poor, you play paper football. Made a football. Oh yeah, first. paper football was yeah, it was it was the ball. Oh man, man. we paper played football. that all freaking day. I mean, we had tournaments with my friend, and we got in a fight over that. I, I can't tell that. you. Ta- I can't tell you how many times I had to write sentences for playing paper football in in school. 
Because that was the big thing. We had to write. Do they even make kids write sentences anymore? I had to write. I, I, I had to write. I will not play games in yeah. class in cursive for getting caught playing paper football. Yeah. Yep. Hey, Tommy, you you want to guess what the uh, the biggest thing I I got in trouble for? At school, paper football was up there. But you know the number one thing that I got in trouble for at school? Shooting on paper one at the trash can. No, no talking, what? talking. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah. I would never. I mean, I, and I was just telling. I was thinking him, spitballs. I was That's just, what I got in trouble I was just telling him I was training for the future sports talk radio guy. I mean, I was. I'm mean, training. It was. Um, yeah, dude. I will not talk in class. I don't. I just pre-write my sentences. And then they'd change the word on you, and you'd you'd have to add another word in there. You know, something that I don't want you to do this. I want you to do this. I will not talk in class. You'd write 500 sentences. Then they're then they'll tell you I will not talk during class. Yeah. Right. Crap. Right. Right. Yeah. You got to change. Yeah. So. I will not talk while Miss Smith is teaching. There, that's class. another one. That's another one. That's another one right there. That that was another good one. So, yeah, yeah I, I feel sorry for my teachers back in the day. Maybe that's why I don't like kids. I, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't want to. So, all right, Tommy, let's go. Let's go three picks, man. Let's talk to me. Hey, by the way, we had Keelan Russell on yesterday. I'm not sure if you heard it. It was awesome. It was it was really incredible, man. High energy, five star quarterback. I uh, pretty much said, you know, when these other schools reach out to him, he just shuts it down and says, no thanks, no thanks. Well, that's good because, you know, I told you I was going to skip yesterday. I went to a softball practice. It was open to the public. We had a picnic. We met Team 29. A lot of new faces and the young team. So, so things might be looking up. Can't never tell. So, all right, my three picks. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take Tennessee over Arkansas. Got it. I'm going to take Alabama. I'm going to break my rule. Well, you guys are scaring me with this Alabama stuff. So what? Why am I scaring you? Well, you just scared me with uh, the Alabama stuff. Uh, oh. Well, you want me to change my pick? I can't. I have a rule. I don't. Okay. Well, you, you got Bama. Tennessee, Alabama, pick number three. I'm not going to persuade you to go in one way or the other because last thing I do is knock you out, and then I'd have oh, crow yeah. for three weeks. All right, pick yeah. number three. Um, I'll take Georgia. Heck, I can't remember what my other one was. You see, you confuse me. I don't like you. Right well, I got to talk about kids and and brought up a, a phobia of you. You know. Yeah, you don't like kids. All right, Tennessee, yeah. Bama, Georgia, Bama to Georgia. Yeah, rushing yard. Let's say. 278. 278. I got it, Tommy. Hope you have a great weekend, man. Roll Tide to you. All right, man. Talk to you later. Roll Tide. Right back to you. You got Jamarcus Shepard audio that we want to reflect on. We'll do that coming up in a couple of minutes. T-Town Tide, 100.9, 1230, WTBC. Your home of Alabama Crimson Tide Sports. By and picked up her prize package. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations to you. Uh, enjoyed uh, giving you uh, the gift card. And uh, this week we're doing a little something different. We kind of break it up. Uh, each and every Tuesday and Wednesday we do our Southern Ohio Score Prediction Day. And then every Friday we do a SEC Parlay Pick Contest presented by Brian Hart and Construction. ASME certification, I-beam installation, fabrication. If you're building from the ground up, let's build something together. And this week... We're playing a lot of SEC games, but we also have a few buys as well. we got Missouri at Texas A&M. Texas A&M minus the 2.5. 48.5 is where we're going to lock that. 48.5 is that game total. Auburn, Georgia. Auburn plus the 22. Georgia minus the 22. 52.5 is the over-under. Ole Miss going to South Carolina. We know that that line has moved, uh, so that might give you a little, maybe a little uh, hint. Ole Miss minus the nine. Even though it's moved to nine and a half, we're going to keep it at nine. Fifty-two and a half is the game total in that particular game. Ole Miss at South Carolina. Alabama goes to Vanderbilt. They'll go there as a huge favorite. Twenty-two and a half. Fifty-four and a half. Fifty-four and a half is the game total. And we're playing a couple of other games. We'll do Tennessee, Arkansas. Tennessee minus thirteen and a half. Fifty-six and a half is the game total. Fifty-six and a half. Central Florida traveling to Gainesville. It's going to be a short drive. From Orlando to Gainesville. That game's a 7, 645, 645 Central Time Zone, 745 in the Eastern Time Zone. Central Florida minus the 2, 61 and a half. The non-conference games that we're going to play, Miami minus the 10 at Berkeley. Whew, hope you take a shower. Miami minus the 10 out at Berkeley. That'd be a rough place to go. That'd be like Chuck E. Cheese. Uh, Could you imagine going to Berkeley? I've been there once. Yeah. 
Michigan at Washington. UW minus the one and a half. Iowa at Ohio State. Ohio State minus 18 and a half. Michigan State versus Oregon in Eugene. Oregon minus the 23 and a half. And we're going to play res- pay respect and we're going to play the Navy at Air Force game. Two of our military academies. Jumbo, that's for you. Bama Nick, that's for you and anybody else that served in those two branches of the military. Navy at Air Force. Navy minus the 10. Let's go to Blueberry Steve in Montreal, Canada. Blueberry Steve, good afternoon. You're in the game. I hope all is well. All is well, Ryan. How about yourself? I'm good. I'm good. Last week you were complaining about a golf tournament traffic. Everything okay on a Friday afternoon? Oh, yeah. Everything's fine. In fact, I'm about to go uh, out for a bike ride soon, and um, hopefully uh, it won't start raining. But, yeah, everything everything's fine. Can't complain. Can't complain. Um. But I, but I will say I will say this. Uh, do you want to know why I despise Vandy? Do you want to know why? Help me. I mean, I, I lo- okay. So I love I love Nashville as a city. I love it. I love the music. I'm a big country music guy. I'm a big blues guy, country music guy. Um, but. Vandy, Vanderbilt University. I um I I don't know if it's true, but and maybe somebody can correct me. But this is what I have been informed, and I read about it. They are uh, Vanderbilt University is number one in the entire United States, um, performing transgender surgery on kids. Oh, okay. That's why I despise Mandy. Hmm. I don't know anything about it. I can't add anything or take anything away. I just have to say, okay. I'd right, be... right, right, right. Uh... That whole idea, that whole idea of, of of doing that, right, to children, is is, is despicable. And that, and that, I, I read it on a. I think I read it on a Fox News site, so it was probably pretty pretty accurate. But anyways. That's it. That's all I have to say. Not well, too much I, else. Let me I let like me say that. this. I have to I have to give respect to Vanderbilt. Um, we were there. Uh, my mom received a kidney transplant about five years before she passed away. Uh, Vanderbilt was incredible with kidneys. Uh, it's one of the biggest transplant centers in the entire country. Uh, we also went back there because when my mom uh, passed away of uh, the Democratic flu. Uh, we we ended up uh, going there for 30 days. We were there for 30 days. Uh, we were treated with the utmost respect. Uh, completely. I mean, I I I couldn't believe the way that we were treated. Um, simply simply amazing. But it was her time, and uh, we believe that you know God appoints a life and a death, a uh, biblical yep. response, and uh, it was it was her time. Uh, now, well, oh, oh, you know what? Let me let me take that back with that. Uh, obviously, uh, your your situation. Yeah, but uh, but I don't I don't I'm not I, I don't listen I don't I don't have an opinion about your opinion, and I don't restrict other people from opinion. So your your opinion is no, more I, than welcome here. That's one of the reasons why we do sports talk radio, and I take a lot of heat for allowing people to have opinion, but I don't really give a darn. Exactly. So well, that's so, why. So but that's why your audience. That's why your audience, Ryan. That's why your audience is so. I loyal. mean, yesterday I, I got scolded. Uh, by a liberal out in Austin, Texas. Uh, but I, I shared with him. Paul had called in with some uh, some some things. Yeah, to we say. talked. Yeah, and, and really, yeah. as I started kind of exploring it, our government's not doing enough for the folks in North Carolina and North Georgia and uh, Tennessee. I mean, we we are not doing enough. So what Paul said uh, w- was factual. Uh, we, we are not giving uh, those people the resources, and uh, you know, our government really does a poor, pitiful job, but. It helps us understand that we shouldn't depend on the government. Uh, you know, right, in, in right. times like this, you really don't have another choice. But uh, we, we have a we have a bad leadership, and I'm not saying that Donald Trump's perfect, uh, but he'd be better than what we've got. Oh, I mean, there's a lot of things. That, there's a lot of things that he does that I disagree with. Uh, we we probably don't see eye to eye on a lot of things, but uh, compared to the current administration that's asleep at the wheel, uh, yeah, I mean. You know, does so it the current administration, the current administration, um, if you look at it, just never mind from all the different multiple, I mean, issues, right? 
that that uh, they that they deal with. There's one thing is, is stands out to me. Um, Joe Biden, uh, when when he came, when he he's, he's been in, in politics for what fifty years, and uh, maybe he had a job before he, that. Maybe he has he no, he was. I mean, he's been a, he's been a lifelong politician, lifelong, not a good one, yeah, but he has I, been a lifelong. Right, right, and you know, supposedly came from uh, uh, you know. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, um, uh, like a, a, a tough, uh, or not a tough, but like a middle class upbringing or lower middle class upbringing, whatever. But, but he and his family have have made not millions but multiple millions of dollars off of his service to this country while Donald Trump it cost him money he didn't need it he didn't, he, he didn't need it. and and he gave his salary away to charity so i mean you want to go through the whole issue i don't want to go through all the yeah, issues yeah. you know well, let's get back to, let's get back to parlay picks uh, blueberry steve okay yeah all right. let's do that let's do that um, montreal canada with some strong opinions on the political arena Yes. Sir. All, all and, I can say is we're probably a little bit better than you. That's not saying much. <laughs> not for long. In October of 2025, uh, if if uh, God willing, you'll have Trump, and we'll have Pierre Polyev get rid, send Trudeau to the. Anyways, okay. Um, and by the way, you hit your George. three picks last week, but your tiebreaker was a little bit high. I know. I, I two weeks in a row that I hit my my three picks. And you know what I, that I gets you, Blueberry Steve. You know what that gets you? With with uh, four dollars? No, it gets you coffee. absolutely nothing. If you'll wake up tomorrow morning, go to your doorstep, it'll be there. We're gonna FedEx it to you. Absolutely nothing. Naturally organic. Uh, it'll be there tomorrow morning. Promise you. We've shipped Look, it overnight. I love the organic. I love the organic nothing. <laughs> so I'll try. I'll try this week. I'll try Georgia. Georgia. Yeah, that's minus 22, right? It is. It is. Uh, Bama minus 22 and a half. Bama. And ha- and I I I want to I want to see I want to see, see Arizona win, but what's the uh what, what are the Vols giving up on that one? Uh the Vols are traveling to Arkansas. And I'm I'm still an hour in a show. It'll take me but top about four o'clock, and I'll have these lines memorized. I say them a couple of different times. But Tennessee minus the thirteen and a half in Fayetteville, Arkansas, Reynolds Razorback Stadium. Tennessee minus the thirteen and a half. Okay, well I will go with the Razorbacks. Okay, a little wishful thinking, uh, but I'll take it. Bama rushing yards. What do you think, Blueberry Steve? Yeah, no, it is wishful thinking. I agree. I agree. But I, I still want to expose. I want to expose because uh, I would love to see a team expose uh, their quarterback. What's that kid's name again? Nico? Is yep. that Nico? Yep. All right. Okay. Give me rushing yards. Uh, rushing Steve. yards. Rushing yards for Bama. 288. 288. Blueberry Steve, Montreal, Canada. Blueberry Steve, thank you again, man. I hope you have a great rest of your day. You're welcome. Roll Tide and Roll Maga, Ryan Fowler, and have Thank a great week. Blueberry Steve, Montreal, Canada. Uh, let's continue with more phone calls, and we go here to Dale. Dale, good afternoon. You're in the game. I hope all is well. Hey, Dale. Hey, Ryan. Hey, Dale. You all right? I'm good, man. Good. Um, well, Ryan, let me say this. I got a feeling Alabama better corral that little quarterback from Vanderbilt, or it could be a little tough day. Oh, uh, here we go. Dale's getting concerned. Yeah. Dale's getting worried. A little bit. Yeah, go ahead, Dale. A little bit. You going to panic? Just a little. Okay. But I still I still feel good about the win. But I'm just saying he's, he's going to have his plays on us. If we're not careful, he's going to have a big game on us. But it is what it is. Well, I mean, you're well, I got welcome. Faith to, in my time. You're welcome to take Vanderbilt if you if you feel. So no, I'm not going to take Vanderbilt. Okay. No, 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 okay. no. We're not going that that route. Okay. 
But I'd like to talk about a little bit about the Red River, the Red River rivalry. We hadn't, I hadn't heard much about that. What are your thoughts on that game? Well, it's not until next week, right? Oh, it's not this Saturday. No, it's not. Yeah, so we—that's oh. probably why you haven't heard a lot about it. It's—it's. Uh, it's, oh, okay. And it's no longer the Red River Shootout; it's the Red River Rivalry. Uh, we've ex- right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I missed on that one then. Yeah, that's a swing and a miss, Dale. But that's okay. That's okay. We got some good games. We got some good games. I mean, this week's not full of good games, but it's—it's it's okay. Um, like I, I, I like this evening's game, Michigan State and Oregon. Michigan State and Oregon. Yeah, I mean it's a good Friday night appetizer. You know, you ever go to one of these steakhouses and you get the bread and the butter? That's what the Friday night games are. Syracuse UNLV. That's pretty solid too. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm going to sit back and uh, don't have to work the game this weekend, and and I enjoy that kind of thing. Just sitting back and watch the other teams knock each other off. Well, that, that was my plan, but uh, I got a phone call that they needed me to do the post game, and so I jumped in, and I'm going to do the post game tomorrow evening. So I'll be at walk-ons following the game with about a two-hour lapse in there. So as soon as the game gets over, I will do a post game reaction show. It's been a long time since I've done one of those, but a uh, little fun, a little get me out of my comfort zone for just a little bit, and uh, we'll be broadcasting live down at walk-ons. Oh yeah. So. Uh... I can't wait to see what Ryan Williams is going to do again. I mean, yeah, me too. every game he, he gives us something to to be happy about and be you know excited about. Okay. Uh, let, let me give you my pick, though. So okay. I'm going to go ahead and all right. Let's see. Uh, and hopefully you didn't have Texas or Oklahoma. Maybe that's what I, I did have that game. So I'm going to have to rethink my third game. I don't know why I was thinking that game was this week. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm going to go with, uh, South Carolina. Uh, South Carolina. That's, what, uh, that's my first one. Yeah, and Alabama. Bama. And Georgia. I think Georgia is going to win big over Auburn, and that's going to be know, their fourth gonna, loss. Gonna, the Bulls are struggling. Yeah. I was going to bet the uh, the game. I was going to call and put my mortgage on the game, but after you guys have all taken George, I think I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to take Auburn. Oh, no. Not Ryan Fowler. Yeah. No, I'm, I think I'm going to go to Silver Star. It's one of our – You know what You know what you're forgetting to do? What is it? Embrace the suck. S-A-U-C-K. <laughs> S-A-U. What does the A-U stand for, Dale? Auburn. Auburn. It does. Mama Auburn Russia. University. Bama rushing yards. Dale, where do you want to go? Uh, I'm going to go with, uh, and I hope they, I, I hope they get Jam and Justice involved a little me more. Too, we have got too, somewhere. That's, that's why we're doing the rushing yards. Somewhere down the road, we're going to have to get them involved. But I think Jalen will probably lead the pack again, and I think it's going to be uh, about 240 yards. Okay, 240. Dale, I got you. South Carolina, Bama. Georgia, 240. Dale, I appreciate you, man. Roll Tide. I still like to see us use the back. So. Me too. Me too. I'd love to get them involved. Uh, Roll Tide. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's continue with more phone calls, and we go to Elias. Elias, good afternoon. You're in the game. I hope all is well, my friend. Roll Tide, Ron. How you doing today? Man, I'm good. I'm good. Man. I don't know where this rain came from, but I don't need it right, right. now. Now, time out, time out, time out. And I know our friends over at Northport Power Equipment, they appreciate rain because what, rain makes the grass grow, and you know they sell more uh, you know, weed trimmers and all the supplies there. But were we expecting rain today? Uh, I know it's a chance of rain, but it's coming down pretty good right now. Well, it's, yeah, it's raining here at the radio station uh, pretty solid. But I, I was not, oh, down, down south – down in Pensacola and Mobile and the Panhandle, you guys are getting pretty, pretty hammered down there. Uh, we we just had a pop yeah. up shower that popped up over Tuscaloosa. I'm not even sure if it's raining back toward where I live, close to Lake Norlane. Uh But we are, yeah, we got we got a, quite a bit of a real nice rain shower. Oh yeah, I, I've been West Watson tonight, so I hope the rain clears up by the end. No, I don't. I don't think. <laughs> I think it's going to be out of here. According to the forecast. Uh, the percentage dropped significantly. So, I mean, you're you're down to, you know, it's 60% right now because it's raining. 
But then you got 15%, 7%. Time kickoff, it'll be like 10%. You, you'll be okay. Okay, good, 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 good. Yeah, I surprised my son last night and uh, took a trip down to Montgomery, me and the family, and uh, watched a good 7 day game with Carver and Enterprise last night. It was 14-14 at halftime. Final score was 17-14. Oh, super cool. Where do, where do they play that? At the, they play that at the Crampton Bowl? Yeah, the Crampton Bowl. Yes, sir. Okay. You Look at you, high school football fanatic, Elias. That's me. <laughs> nothing wrong that is with, me. Nothing wrong with that, Elias. Yes, so, all right. Let me yes, go sir. with the uh, I'm predictions. Trying to get, I'm going to try to get by walk on tomorrow, man, to support you with the uh, post game. Yeah, I'll be there. Uh, should be able to hopefully mingle for a couple of minutes. But, yeah, we're going to be there live about two hours post game. Uh, and the game will end, and then CTSN picks up with their post game, and then we'll pick up two hours after that. So I'm filling in. Uh, Wyatt's headed to Vanderbilt, and Matt Coulter's calling Dega. Okay. So, okay, great. Hopefully All right. you guys will participate and we'll have pick. a little fun. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's why I'm, I'm thinking about just coming on out there. I won't be far from you, so I'm going to come out of support. All right. Elias, what you got for me? Uh, give me the good guys, of course. Bama. Pick number two. Uh, give me Georgia. They, Georgia. They're mad this week, so I think they're going to put it on Auburn pretty bad this week. Yeah, I do too. And we're going to ask Lee Sterling for an unbiased opinion. He doesn't hate Auburn as much as we do, but we'll ask him if that's a fair pick. Gotcha. And uh, give me uh, Tennessee. Tennessee, Bama rushing yards. Where do you want to go? Uh, I think they're still going to keep it as a balanced attack, but I'd like to see, like the last call, say the, the backs. You know, you know, get more carries. But I'm gonna go with 228. 228. So I'm gonna repeat it: Bama, Georgia, Tennessee, 228. 228. Elias, appreciate you, man, as always. Yes, sir. Thank you again. Roll Tide. Hey, Roll Tide to you. We'll come back. We're going to take more phone calls. Jim in Tuscaloosa, get ready. We're coming to you next. T-Town, Tide, 100.9, 1230, WTBC. Nice gift card from El Grand Patreon. Uh, you can find it on McFarland Boulevard. Uh, go out and see El Grand. Uh, great Mexican place. We're giving away a gift card. Appreciate those guys. Carlos, thank you, thank you, thank you, where you can go out and uh, maybe have a little tailgating supplies, or maybe even uh, they do a lot of tailgating things on Saturday as well. And you got two locations. You got Los Amigos, which is up 69 uh, north, and then you've got the uh, Old Grand right there on McFarland Boulevard in the old Winn Dixie Shopping Center. Uh, for all of us that have been here for quite a while, I believe that used to be at Applebee's. I think it used to be at Applebee's, but uh, they have totally re- renovated that. Great little. Mexican cuisine, if you're looking for that. We'll give away one of those gift cards. And I appreciate those guys for being a part of our show, El Gran Patreon. Well, let's continue, and we go here to Ram and McCullough. Ram, good afternoon. You're in the game. Hey, Ryan. How are you, Ram? I'm doing good. I hope you are, buddy. I'm looking forward to hearing you on the uh, post-game show tomorrow. Yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. Haven't done that in a long time, but it's. Uh... I listen to it every minute always. Uh... Well, thank you, thank you. We, we appreciate uh, game day. Game my... day all day will be a big part of our show. You turn the turn the radio okay, down just uh, a little bit, Ram, if you can. Okay. Sorry. How's that? That's good. Perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect, Ram. Ryan. Yeah, it's perfect. Okay. Uh, give me uh, Georgia. 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 Give me Missouri. Mizzou, got it. Mizzou, got it. And Florida. Got it. Got it. 235. I've got you, Ram. Hope you have a great day, man. Thank you again for being a part of the show. You too, Ryan. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, Bye-bye. Right back to you. Let's continue with more. We'll go to Jim in Tuscaloosa. Jim, good afternoon. You're in the game. Hey, Ryan. How are you, Jim? I'm doing well. I found that you and I have something in common. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't like children either. 
Why does someone like screaming kids? I mean, I'm trying to there give me go. a way out, but uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> I like well-behaved yeah. kids. That's right. That's you know, right. kids nothing are, worse. Yeah. Nothing worse than sitting in a restaurant and kids are whining and crying. And Throwing and, macaroni and cheese across yeah, the room. Yeah. yeah. Mashed and potatoes. Whoop! Well, there goes a tater tot. Or talking or crying in church. That just gets all over. And you know what's worse than you know what's worse than uh, uh, kids doing that? Parents letting them. Parents. Oh yeah. Them. And and like some of them don't that. even say it. They just I let them go wild, man. Yeah, yeah. You got it, man. You know, I told you last week that I thought Alabama would win easily. You may not remember that, but I told you I thought they would. In uh, the first quarter, I was looking like a genius. Yes, you. you listen, if, if that <laughs> thing would have continued. I was going to have to eat some crow on Monday. Man. I was already dreading it, but uh, I was looking pretty sharp for a while, but it kind yeah. of faded away. Yeah, well, hey, Kirby well, saved me a little bit. Kirby saved me. Yeah, Kirby did a good job of coaching. I hate to admit it, but he did. Um, what one did somebody get them all right? And- there was there was actually several people that got them all right, but there was one person. This person okay. is a lady. That's a little hint, and we like to do it on the air. So, I got you. Um, you know, we, we like to okay. have we like to have a little fun with that one, and uh, we will. Old Miss, Old Miss, and Lane Kiffin sure let me down. I think you let a lot of people down. A lot of people down. All but, right. uh, we we I'll had her. we had a lady that called in, Good. and uh, she picked up the package. Good deal. Good deal. All right. My first two picks will always be the same: Alabama, Bama. Whoever's playing Auburn. You want Georgia, got it. My kind of guy. I don't care who it is, whoever's playing Auburn, whoever's playing the suck, I, that's who I'm going with. All right. And I'm going to go outside the conference and go Washington. That is one of your games. It right? is. It is. And it's UW, which is the – this is a weird line. Okay, you got yeah, Michigan it, in the top ten. They got to go to UW, and they go there as an underdog. Right. And Washington's already lost. I know they lost to Washington State. I'm not sure who the other one they lost to, but they're three and two, one and one in the Big Ten. But UW is the favorite. But you know, just trying to give Kalen Boer's uh, school. You know, I mean, we took their coach. I mean, at least we can do is. Oh, they lost to Rutgers okay. last week. So, uh, I quit talking, Ryan. You're going to talk me out of it. <laughs> I'm trying to give them some love. Okay. Three o two. Three o two. Yes, sir. That was a great engine, by the way. It was, wasn't it? It was. A lot of speed. A lot of speed. Roll Tide. Thank you, Jim. We appreciate that. Hey. We'll go to Brent Beard coming up in a couple of minutes, and we'll go right back to phone calls right here on an SEC Parlay Pick Contest. Hey, we made the announcement just a couple of minutes ago. Daniel Moore has confirmed that announcement. Uh, DanielMoreArt.com. Deuce is wild. 75-yard touchdown reception. Jalen Milrow connecting with Ryan Williams. Number two, beat number two. Xavier Brown helps seal that victory. That print is going to feature both. You're going to have Ryan Williams as the primary print, and then right down in the bottom corner, uh, you're going to have Xavier Brown's interception. You've seen some of these prints where they do that. Uh, remember, if you order it, you've got a big pre-publication price, a pre-publication price, which saves a significant discount, but they're also rolling back. They have not offered this price since back in 2018, so uh, they're rolling back the prices to 2018. Everything else is going up. Daniel Moore is saying, you know what, let's help you guys out a little bit. We're going to adjust that, and hopefully that won't be the only print they'll do for 2024. But DanielMoreArt.com, DanielMoreArt.com. Remember the legend print, you can find that. Nick Saban, the autographed editions. I believe, according to Jeff, you might be able to twist his arm, uh, but I I know they were down to like single digits earlier this week. I I think they're totally out of them now. So DanielMoreArt.com, DanielMoreArt.com, the calendars, the prints, Celebrate those special Alabama moments in your life. We'll continue with more of the game. Todd, 100.9, 1230 WTBC, your home. He's the ABC NBC News affiliate there in Jacksonville, Florida. Brent Beard, I hope you're having an amazing day. Welcome into the game in Tuscaloosa. Well, the great thing about it is, uh, starting yesterday, we've got around 55 straight days of college and pro football, and sometimes both of them on the same day, so... That is a a wonderful thing, is it not, Ryan Fowler? Yeah, it is, man. It's awesome. It is awesome. And, uh, man, it's 
When you think about college football, the NFL, the only the only part is we count down 245 days, and we yeah. get down. Oh yeah. We get down to the last. You know, it just it flies by. I wish the off season moved this fast. Uh, really. Yeah. I mean, I say it every year, but it's just. I mean, we're five weeks into the season already. Well, that uh, I agree. The thing that was going to help us, though, uh, is the fact that um, the the season in in January. Uh, in December is going to be uh, uh, much better than it has been. I mean, we'll get bowl games. We can get playoff games. I, I was looking at the playoff schedule again, and now I believe it's because it's New Year's Eve. But we've got a we've got a Tuesday night and a Wednesday playoff games too. Uh, so that that's going to be uh, that, that's when things will slow down a bit is when we get in December and we're we're in the playoffs. Fair enough. Fair enough. And and that's that's when I mean when you look at the just the games that we're gonna play, um to me it's too much. because um, we're already seeing depth, impact. We're gonna have to do something okay. with this roster. You are gonna yeah. have to either up it, you're gonna have to go up. And yes. I know that was a discussion. It was it uh, is. But it, it needs to be more than just a discussion. Yeah, yeah I agree with that. Uh, and we will really be able to tell that toward uh, um, the, uh, the the end of the season. What? Yes, once we get in the playoffs, that that's when you're really going to – your depth's going to be tested. So the, the sooner these, play, these coaches can play more players, the better off they're going to be. And I think that's why Alabama's taking this approach of playing a ton yes. of players. Uh, Brent, I know we've been a few days removed, but I'd love to go back to Alabama, Georgia. From your perspective, what would you see? Well, uh, uh, what a tremendous game. The uh, The goal for television is to get 4 million viewers. If you do that, you've done a really good job. Oh, wow. I did not realize that that oh, was yeah. the number. Okay, yeah. 4 million. Yeah, yeah that's what... That's what TV is really looking for. Uh, if, if you want to be one of the elite teams, uh, that is something that you are striving to get for television. I, I'm I, I'm not sure what's magical about that, but that's a reality. So when you're talking about 12 to 14 million for Alabama, Georgia, Ryan, what does that tell you? Wow. Uh, no, so does it ever does it ever surprise you at all? Um, now, now, if I remember this, help me on this. If I remember this tweet correctly, the Alabama Georgia game was the uh, most watched game uh, since twenty seventeen, and that was the Alabama FSU game, it was, right? It was. Yep, it was. Yeah. And, uh, Brent, the only thing that pops in my head is how dumb CBS was, which, you know, CBS is not your smartest group. We, we proved right. that on Tuesday right. night. I watched it uh, myself. But uh, CBS passed up college football in the SEC to go to the Big yes. Ten. Let that sink yes. in. Oh, oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, but, I, but, but as far as back to the game, uh, I, I mean, the first half was an Alabama fan's dream. Uh, uh, be, being able to get ahead of one of their big rivals. Um, Georgia hasn't replaced Auburn, but Georgia is up there now. I, I don't think there's any doubt about it, particularly when you're in places like Jacksonville, Florida, where you have a lot of Georgia fans down here. But, um, I mean, Alabama basically able to do what they want to on offense. Ryan, I'm still convinced that if Bama scores – uh, one more time at the end of the first half, that game's over. Well, the officiating uh, would have been a little bit cleaner yes. uh, in that game. Uh, it might have stretched it out, which goes back to the TV mm -hmm. ratings. Uh, think about if that game would have got out of hand. Those ratings were, would no be nowhere near that. No, no. I, I still no. think that these officials try to keep it a little bit closer. Um, I don't think they thought George was going to come back, but – it's it's kind of like some of the calls that you can make. You can make those a lot. Yeah, you got to call it the right way. I get it. Mm -hmm. But but I see a problem in officiating, and it, it has been. It, it's not got better. It's got worse. Yeah, 
Yeah, uh, yeah unfortunately, it really has, and I, I don't know what we do uh, to be able to change that um, either. Well, the, the, uh, the people that I've talked to, Brent, they tell me that there's not enough officials in high school to work no, up. So it, not. It, it's there, and then it works up the college ranks, and you go to the NFL. But the officiating is the numbers have never been, I get, or at least the, what I've been told, they they're not where they need to be. And no. so you've got a big problem, which is people wanting to be officials. Oh, sure, absolutely, um, and. Uh, and, and I think the other problem we've got right now with officials, uh, their ego, some of them, is as big as coaches uh, and players. Uh, they want that they, they – and look, uh, I have no doubt that part of the officiating problem is these guys want to be on camera. Uh, and not, not all of them do, but I think some of them do. Certainly see that in basketball, too. Uh, so that, that is an issue. Uh, but I do think I do think Bama took the foot off the accelerator in the second half, which is something uh, that uh, Coach Sheridan will learn from. Uh, look, in this league, you've got to get, you've got to keep going. Uh, frankly, it, it was it was so important to come back and be able to win that game, Ryan, because. If you lose a game like that, you don't know how long, if you can, recover from that. So now Vanderbilt will be a character test for Alabama. I mean, they're still the better team. They have the better roster, and they've got to contain Diego, the Vanderbilt quarterback, who who is really good, and their roster is better. Uh, but uh, I, but look, I think it's. Uh, I think this schedule is helping Alabama. You've got a big test with Georgia. You've got um, Bandy, and then you've got South Carolina, who is better than Bandy. Uh, and then you've got Tennessee. So, uh, I, 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 look, I think for a lot of that game, Bama did what they need to do. They showed a lot. Uh, and, it, man, you, what you and I have been talking about, over the last few months, that this staff is really, really good, really showing that in that Georgia game. Yeah, think about Kay Winnebor's record against these top football coach. He's six and zero. That's right. He's six and zero against Lanning, Sark, and Kirby. That's right. Yeah. Well, and in no small way was the Alabama offensive line allowing zero sacks. That 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 was particularly huge. Uh, in that ball game. Now, I know, I know Alabama fans, uh, because I've done podcasts about this this week, want to see uh, um, uh, John Miller and Justice Haynes really get into action and start doing well. And I think you'll start to see that uh, uh, coming up. And man, oh man, uh, if, uh, Ryan, if you can get uh, kind of what you had on Saturday night against Georgia, with with a little more balance in the running game, uh, uh, how much of a threat is Bama offense going to be on a consistent basis? Yeah, and that's why we're talking about this today. We have really, uh, one of our tiebreakers for our SEC Parlay Pit Contest presented by Brian Harden Construction is we're doing Bama rushing yards because we feel like that that's an area that Alabama needs to improve upon because yep. if you subtract yep. Milrose stats from the rushing, which I understand he's part of it, I get that, uh, but 56 total yards rushing yep. on 14 carries. Well, and look, Bama's got two, the, the two running backs I mentioned and even some of the reserves, those guys are capable of a 100-yard game. Uh, but frankly, it, it, at any time. So it would be a good way to, to, to do it the next two weeks as you get into uh, Tennessee. Uh, but again, um, I mean, there'll, there'll be a big Bama crowd there uh, tomorrow in that stadium. I hope it's maybe 35. There'll probably be 25 or more uh, who are Alabama fans. So, uh, and and again, Ryan, it, this, is, this is a challenge for them of uh, how will they get emotionally ready uh, to play a game like this after everyone's told them all week long how great they are. Well, and, and think about this, and, and as far as the stadium venue, when's the last time Alabama's played in a venue this small? Good qu- Well, that's a good question. 
Um, gosh, it may, it may have been uh, Bama played on the road in an ACC game. Was it Duke? Oh, oh look at this. Look at this. Yeah, look at this. Because of the construction, you know yeah. what the capacity tomorrow is? It's it's not even as high as what you and I thought it was. 28,934. Gracious alive. Listen, that that's a... Uh, uh, I, I'm not sure that would feel uh, uh, that the, the end zones in Bright Denny are bigger than that, or they? they are. They are. Uh, let's see what Wallace Wade Stadium. You mentioned Duke on the yeah, road. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think uh, it, it, uh, forty thousand. Forty thousand. Wallace okay. Wade. Yeah, yeah. Bama play. If I'm not mistaken, Bama played in an ACC venue, and I want to say that for whatever reason they played at Duke. Uh, now, now this went like the other day. This has been a little while. Oh, okay, okay, I got you. Uh, uh, but the reality of that is, um, when you think about it, uh, that yeah, that that's one of the smaller venues that that, that they've ever played in. Yeah, I mean that's twenty eight thousand. No, that'll be a trivia question ten years from now. Where's the Alabama's the smallest venue? Twenty eight thousand nine thirty four. They, uh, they played, and I think this was when. Uh, uh, th- th- this was like in in the eighties um, when this happened, I believe. Um, but they played. Um, I think it was it was Louisiana Monroe or someone like that. If you can believe this, actually on the road and kicked about five or six field goals in that game. Uh, I mean, they won fairly comfortably before it was over. Uh, but you, you've got my mind going, as, as both of us are Alabama historians to a point, that you remember games in small uh, venues. I, I remember um, uh, Alabama playing Miami at Miami in Coral Gables. I think this was in the in the Orange Bowl, and it, it wasn't the venue. It was just they. I don't think they had thirty thousand people there, and I remember John Forney. Uh, who could be, about as a matter of fact, as you could be on the mic, making this statement of, uh, well, uh, this is not quite a hotbed in football. And, and, and during, matter of fact, that night in that Miami game, this is fun going over this, Bama intercepted six passes. Do you remember that? I don't. I, I think that still may be a, a record. Wow. See that's that's the, that's why we love talking to him. If somebody knows the answer to the question that we're throwing out there, it's not a trivia question. We're just throwing it out there to see. We'd love to hear somebody else say, "When's the last time Alabama played in a venue this small? Yeah. Twenty eight thousand nine hundred and thirty four right. is the capacity tomorrow at First Bank Stadium. Now they're in the renovations. Uh, the scoreboard's held up by two cranes. Uh, so yeah, yeah, so it's. If you're going there for a fan experience, I don't know. Yeah, uh, yeah. Now, 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 Ryan, help me on this. Uh, it, it isn't uh, nailing in two weeks for Tennessee? It will be. No, uh, it, it, yeah, oh yeah. That's going to be that, that's going to be limited too, right? You talking about Tennessee on, on the road? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, are, or, are they doing or, construction too? I, I, you know, they have been. It may, it may. Well, be they completely. needed it. They needed it because that city oh, was did. so out of date. And, right, and matter of fact, right. they need to cut down the the attendance and yeah, give a little bit more too. butt room because your yeah. butts. Uh, I don't know many fourteen inch butts. Uh, no, no, no. And, and, and listen, when you're uh, you're uh, when you're the, when you're up at the top there in the upper deck, Ryan, you're you're a lot closer to heaven than you are the field, <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> you are, you are, and then when you go to the corner, like where Alabama goes in, like yeah. the visiting team, yeah. it is, it looks like something out of a scary movie. It, it's, <laughs> no, I mean, it's like old At tiny Halloween. window. Yeah it's, yeah, it's it's nasty. I mean, it's, yeah. and I'm sure they designed that, but it's it's like, guys, you know, here's a bucket of paint. If you guys can afford yeah. it, we'll take care of it. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, every other year going up there, but, uh, yeah. hey, that. Josh Heupel's clicking right now. Hey, by the way, what do you think about Arkansas hosting them? You, you give Arkansas any? I, 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 the, no, I, I don't. And I think eventually it, it will be a comfortable win for Tennessee. But the reality is, um, with the game being at Arkansas, they'll be fired up at first. But the 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 problem is, uh, is Tennessee has really become a defensive force now. They, they've really got a legitimate defense. 
and that that's helping them. That's going to be a real challenge for Alabama in a couple weeks too. Um, so, but you know, it was so important when that Georgia game, just in case you get in trouble in uh, uh, in Knoxville. Um, so, but no, I, I'm I, I think that the Taylor Green still makes too many mistakes. Arkansas, like Auburn, <clears throat> is among the twenty worst Division One teams in turnovers. Uh, nine on the season so far, so that that would play into uh, Tennessee's hands, but it would be a humongous win for Sam Pittman if he could get it. Brent Beard, uh, let me go into a couple of different things right here with you. Georgia uh-huh. and Auburn. Georgia and Auburn, one of the uh, what is the oldest rivalries in the South. Uh, what yeah. do you think? Well, one of the things that really sticks out at you uh, uh, with that is – uh, and I'm sure you mentioned this this week, but Auburn has not won in Athens since 2005. I mean, that's I mean, Ryan, that's basically 20 years uh, when you think about it. Now, they, they didn't play every one of them in Athens, but every other year, uh, that is a long time to not win on a, at a uh, at a rival's home field. I don't think that's going to change tomorrow. Oh no, no, absolutely, it won't be. No, and, and I. I'll tell you another thing I cropped up this week. The number of seasons with 20-plus turnovers as a head coach, Hugh Freeze has eight of them, and probably heading for nine. And the number of seasons with 20-plus turnovers as a head coach, Nick Saban is one year. Wow. You know, Hugh Freeze is 22-27 and 27 in the SEC. Let that yeah. sink in. Yeah, yeah. That, Brent, that, did you see him getting in trouble? Uh, if they, well, I'll say this, if they put out a five and seven or a four and eight, uh, I, I'm not going to say he's going to get fired at the end of the year. Uh, but, but, but I think he could certainly, that seat could be a lot warmer. Now, obviously that they, they got Deuce Knight, the dual threat, uh, from Notre Dame. Now he hasn't signed yet. So I'd be worried about his academics. Uh, uh yeah, yeah. Good point. Yes. So. But again, I mean, I don't know anything about his academics. But I mean, I mean, why would like what you would have to pay in the NIL world to go there? Yeah, I mean, it'd be like yeah. you, Brent Beard, take your job, and if I said, yeah. all right, I'm going to pay you more, but you got to go work for the worst company in Jacksonville, Florida. Yeah, I mean, that's what yeah. Auburn's offer. I heard on Sirius XM earlier this week they were talking about the two toxic programs in the league is Florida and Auburn. Yeah, it's hard to disagree with that. Well, and and. Florida's got a, a, a virtually a must win against Gus Malzahn and UCF uh, tomorrow night. Florida doesn't need to look. Florida is going to be careful. Uh, they've already lost to Miami. They could lose to UCF, and then they could lose to uh, Florida State. I don't think anybody's going to lose Florida State at the end of the year. So, uh, look, there uh, uh, there's some real interesting. Uh, um, uh, storylines for these SEC games going on this weekend. Um, and uh, we mentioned Florida and UCF. I mean, that now Kentucky's off. LSU is off. That Missouri A&M game is a big-time game with a lot of big-time um, uh, issues going on with that and risk. And so is that old Miss South Carolina. See, the, those two games and those four teams we just mentioned, that's the reason this league's so tough. Uh, I mean, you're always going to have an Alabama, Texas, Georgia at the head of the league. But, but, but am I making sense here? Uh, the, the middle of this league, Ryan, is because those four teams, Ole Miss, South Carolina, uh, A&M, uh, and Missouri, uh, those four teams – yeah, on, on on a given day, could sneak up and beat about anybody. Couldn't they could. They? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean that's that's the strength of this league. Brent Beard, second helping. Travis Ryer, yourself, do second helping where you can get your podcast. You can also find him at First Coast News, which is the ABC NBC News affiliate in Jacksonville, Florida. Hey Brent, always appreciate you being on every Friday, man. Hope you have a great weekend and. Hey, we get a little appetizer with a couple of decent games uh, later yes. this evening. So Michigan State, Oregon. Out yep. in Eugene, and then Syracuse and UNLV. That's a decent Friday night lineup. Oh yeah, oh, and always for your fan base, uh, fun to talk uh, 
uh, a little history about Alabama football and what we remember from some of the smaller venues. I'll I'll be interested in the next hour what you hear from from your listeners. Yeah. And, and I just saw someone on Twitter sent me this. It's been 75 years since Alabama played in the venue this small. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know if that's true. I'm just seeing I, I, what I people are listening to either, but, but, uh, yeah. yeah, man. That is crazy. All right, Brent. It is, isn't it? Thank you, man. Enjoy it, brother. I enjoy Take it. Care. You, you do as well. Thank you, man. Have a great weekend. Brent Beard helping us out. Lee Sterling coming up, and then we're right back to phone calls. SEC Parlay Pick Contest. We'll go to Lee Sterling coming up in a couple of minutes. T-Town Tide, 100.9-1230 WTBC, your home of Alabama Crimson Tides. Point nine twelve thirty 1230 WTBC, your home of Alabama Crimson Tides sports. We're always powered by Tuscaloosa Toyota, TuscaloosaToyota.com, 3325 Skyland Boulevard and online at TuscaloosaToyota.com. The great dealership right there, 3325. Skyland Boulevard and online at TuscaloosaToyota.com. We're doing SEC Parlay Pick Contest. We'll run through those spreads uh, coming up in a couple of minutes. But let's visit here with Lee Sterling, ParamountSports.com. Lee Sterling, I hope you're doing well. Welcome into the game in Tuscaloosa. Well, your game and the Miami game, I mean, I must have had a heart attack. Wow. Wow. What a what a football game! I mean, from an outsider, okay, Lee, you're not an yeah. Alabama guy. Give me right. your 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 take on this Alabama uh, victory over Georgia from your perspective. I think this is why the average college fan loves college football. I mean, the I mean, the buildup was all there. It was perfect, and uh, the game. It was, of course, not the way anyone expected it. No one. I never heard one person say that Bam is going to roll out the three or four touchdown lead. And and then uh, you expected them to win by two touchdowns. And then at least most people did. And then Georgia comes roaring back and takes the lead, which was was shocking. I think I think they had like a 1.5% chance at one point of winning the game. And then they're leading the game. And then the guy said that was going to be the difference. Ryan Williams is the guy. So, uh Incredible, incredible game, and one for the ages. And like I said, that's why we keep coming back. And then the night before, you know, my heart palpitations were off the charts. I uh, thought Miami, once they ruled it was uh, a touchdown, I'm like, these these <laughs> these angles are not very good. The replays for for that catch, and I thought that they were going to have it stand, and they overruled it. That eight minutes and 19 seconds I waited was the longest time I ever waited in my life. Lee, I, w- I want to go into a couple different things because yeah. I, I want to look ahead and, and right. really, and you've got a couple of these games. It's kind of funny. Let's just dive right into it because right. Georgia is going to be hosting Auburn and we'll see if they're going to bounce back. Do you think they will and do you think they'll cover? I, I think they'll cover. And and here's why I say that. They, um, they're they a talented team. I mean, you saw it. They just did not play well. I don't know whether... You, you you can't explain things. It never turns out the way you think it is. And they were just maybe I think it was a combination. Alabama played extremely well, had a good game plan, and uh, you know they were caught. They were they were they were shocked, and they somehow recovered. They've got talent. I, I thought that they were going to push the ball down the field more, maybe p- try some hurry up, something different that they hadn't shown, which they didn't. Uh, off of a loss, I think they're going to be angry. And uh, Auburn, I mean, 15 turnovers in three games. If if I was their coaching staff, I think they have a true freshman coming in. I'd get him in in January, and I'd tell him, okay, you got these four classes in your fifth class. Uh, show up with the head coach and the offensive coordinator for two hours a day. Yeah, we could do an independent study. You remember right. those? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> P.E. They had the physical education major. Yeah, in, they did in, away that with that in Miami. Um, I think – Benny Testaverde might have been the last guy I got that was phys- physical education major. Yeah, in, independent yep. study. That's that's exactly. And a lot of these grad students, when they become grad yep. students, you know, we talked about it. You know, from Jalen Milrow's advantage point. Um, right. When you can, Joe Burrow did the same thing. Jalen Daniels did the same thing. Once they become done with their regular coursework and they have the flexibility, because right. grad school you take less hours. For those who may right. or may not know. Uh, 12 is the load as far as 12 semester hours. Most people take 15. Mm-hmm. You might even take more. But grad hours, you take nine. So nine right. hours. Uh, so you take less hours. Now, they're a little bit more heavy, but there's not as much in-class instruction. There's more you know stuff outside of the classroom. So that gives you a little flexibility of attending classes and able to you know make a good transition. So uh, right. 
Lee, let's uh, let's continue with our picks here, and yep. uh, I want to go to Ole Miss, South Carolina, because that was another one. I mean, what a weekend of college mm-hmm. football. I mean, it, great, great weekend. Kentucky goes to Ole Miss and beats those guys. Now Ole Miss has to load the buses and go to South Carolina. What do you think? Ole Miss minus the number here. Yeah, so my nephew, he's an Ole Miss fan. He said to me, as soon as they scored a touchdown, he goes, that's it. It's going to be a blowout. <laughs> I said, hold on a second. So you got to get up to by two or three touchdowns. Uh, and sure enough, Kentucky, I mean, great game plan. They um, stood by it, didn't panic. Uh, I think they had a couple drives or like six, seven, eight minutes. They, they would get penalized and then slowly get a first down, third down, it seemed like, every single time. And uh, I think the road map is, is laid out now how to beat Ole Miss. And South Carolina should have beaten LSU. Now they've already played a really good offense. I think that helps them in this game here against Ole Miss. And uh, you got to think that they're down a little bit. I, I don't think we're going to see their A game. And Sellers coming back presents some different problems. Uh, big. Well, how, they list him at 240. He's got to be 250, 255. Am I correct? Uh, who, who? I'm sorry. Sellers, quarterback for South Carolina. Yeah, I don't know. I can. I can. Yeah, I can look it up. Uh, yeah, they don't know. They list him at 240 everywhere. Um, yeah, I think he's he's more than that. He's a tough guy to take down. I think he's going to be able to to extend plays and keep them in plays. And you know, their defense. You, you look at the numbers, and they give up like twice the amount of points. And what did you say? He was? Miss. What did you say he was? I, they list him at 240. Yeah, got to no. Yeah, and, no. and looking at the photos, uh, yeah. The, now, one, I found a 250 right here. Yeah. So okay, you did find a 250. Yeah, I did okay. Find a 250. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm looking. I'm looking at a couple of the annuals. Yeah, it looks at 240. Yeah. I'm like this. This isn't a 240 pound kid. So I want, um, I want that scale for a home uh, bathroom. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. I'm doing good, Doc. I'm doing right. good. <laughs> Hey, funny, funny story. I took my mom for a physical the other day, her yearly physical, and the doctor says, "Why don't you get on the scale, Mrs. Sterling?" She says, "Put she put me down for one forty. <laughs> Didn't want to get on the scale, yeah, so yeah. of course she was one forty nine. So, <laughs> um, I, I just think that Beamer's going to have these kids up for this game here, and I think once that bubbles burst with with Ole Miss, not the same. I think they're going to win the game 27-23, but I'll take the points here. Nine and a half, South Carolina. We continue with Texas A&M going to be hosting Missouri. Mercer, Missouri goes to Kyle Field. They go there uh, as an underdog. Yeah. What do you think? <sighs> Kyle Field's a tough place to play. But what we've noticed is when a team's out of it, it's not quite as tough. So I'm watching this A&M team, and biggest difference – and, and I think, you know, the, the the backup quarterback, Marcel Reed's doing a nice job. They just don't hit on explosive plays. They don't have the receivers they've had the last three years. They had Stuart Travel uh, transfer over to Oregon. They had Anaya Smith move on to the NFL. They're 65th, only 19 plays of 20-plus yards this year. Marcel Reed's fine, but if they fall behind by double digits, I think Connor Wegman's coming in this game. And by having Brady Cook playing and being starter for over two years. I think going into uh, Kyle Field, he sh- he's not going to be overwhelmed here. And also having a bye to prepare for this game. I, I think we're going to see the best version of Missouri here. I think the wrong team's favorite. I think Missouri wins the game 27-23. Tennessee goes to Arkansas. They go there as a heavy favorite. What do you think? Yeah. Re- Razels, Re- Reynolds Razorback <laughs> Stadium. I'd hate to be a play-by-play guy. Reynolds yep. Razorback Stadium. There you go. Uh, Tennessee going to Arkansas. No question here. Tennessee is the better team. Question is, do you lay 13 and a half points on the road? I think Tennessee's defense is underrated. I think Arkansas's defense is a fraud. I think they're going to get exposed. They gave up 39 in overtime to Oklahoma State. And most years, people are like, Oklahoma State has a good offense. I think the dam's going to burst here. I just think that this Tennessee offense is going to stress them and – to hurry up. Here's a problem also. Arkansas. You wouldn't really realize this. Most people think of Tennessee as a hurry-up offense. 
but they're number 19 this year at 74.7 plays. Probably would have played faster, been in the top 12 to 15 if they had some closer games, played some better opposition. Even in the Oklahoma game, they slowed it down, just wanted to get the win. Arkansas is number one in the country. They get off 80.8 plays. What that means, more possessions, more plays, and usually more scoring here. I, I think Arkansas will score 17, 20, at most 23, but I can see Tennessee with all these possessions. They get 14, 15 possessions. Unless Tennessee turns the ball over three or more times, I think they get them. I like Tennessee. They double up Arkansas 42-21. Alabama minus the points at Vanderbilt, uh, and we were we were kind of doing a little history lesson a couple of minutes ago. Twenty eight thousand nine thirty four, maybe one of the smallest crowds that Alabama's played in in some time. Uh, there in Vanderbilt, Alabama minus the big number. Yeah, I, I mean they don't have Nick Nick Saban to put out the rat poison, uh, keep the kids in check. It, it's just common nature. You're you're going to be a little bit higher. Uh, everyone's patting you on the back. I mean, you're feeling good about yourself uh, to focus for this Vanderbilt team. This is a pretty good Vanderbilt team, one of the best I've seen in a long time, and I've been following them since the late 70s. I had a good friend who went there, I think, 77 or 78. Um, Daniel Pavi is not playing in the NFL. They list him at six foot, like 206. He's he's 5'10", probably a buck 90. But the kid can make plays. I mean, Six touchdowns has not turned the ball over. Usually Vanderbilt quarterbacks have a history of turning the ball over and don't throw for a high percentage. 63.5% on the year, and he's even ran. He's he's a leading ball carrier. He's ran for 279 and two touchdowns. So they're just they're gonna slow the ball ball game down. Uh uh, Eli Stowers are tight end, solid tight end, um, makes plays, you know, big body, um, they use a lot of two tight end fronts, but um, I think Alabama wins the game 38-21, uh, but I'll take the points here in Vandy. Okay. All right. Yep. Uh, free play is something that we've been talking about. Central Florida and Florida, I mean, it would be like South mm-hmm. Alabama coming to Tuscaloosa and go there as a, as a favorite. Uh, yeah. That has to hurt your feelings if you're a Gainesville Gator. Yeah. Big game here. I mean, if somebody Billy wants to keep his job, I think he's got to win this game. And UCF, I mean, two touchdown favorite against Colorado got blown out. Their doors were blown off. K.J. Jefferson, big game for him. He always seems to play one good game a year. Will this game be it? First five callers call 800-400-9741. 800-400-9741. We'll be standing by to take your call, give you the game for free, explain to you how we work. And uh, also, if you want to hop on board, we hit our uh, – Top unit play of the year, a 45 unit max wager last weekend on Kansas State. You can get four weeks through October 31st, normally 497. If you use coupon code SAVE200, put that in the, the box when you check out. Just $297. Also, a UFC card, normally a pay per view is 77 to 97 selling it for 7 bucks. That's right. You heard me correct. $7 for five fights in the UFC pay-per-view from Salt Lake City. Everything's up. ParamountSports.com. Lee Sterling, I appreciate you, man, as always, for being a part of our show. We'll talk to you next Friday. Thank you again for being a part of the show. Sounds good. Take care. Thank you. Thank you, Lee Sterling, helping us out there. Uh, we're giving away today. We're having a chance to do an SEC parlay pick contest presented by Brian Harden Construction. We'll run back through the lines. We'll do through the giveaways, and we'll take your phone calls. Robert in Brookwood, Joe and Dothan, Bama Nick, all of you guys next. T-Town, Stephen and Raleigh, I see we're working our way to you as well. T-Town, Tide, 100, Restaurant on McFarland Boulevard. We're giving away a gift card today. Go over and see El Gran and uh, Great Mexican Place. We're giving away that. We're giving it a 2025 Daniel Moore calendar. Thank you, Daniel Moore. And by the way, Deuce is wild. Two, two, and two. Georgia was two. Ryan Williams was two. 75-yard touchdown pass. A.B. and Brown. DanielMoreArt.com. DanielMoreArt.com. The pre-publication price that you can get right now for just a limited time. Uh, it is a pre-publication price in Deuces Wild. Alabama takes down Georgia. What a win it was for the Alabama Crimson Tide. And they're rolling back prices from 2018. That is the price that has been released. And uh, it was just released a couple of hours ago. We were the first 
They give us the privilege to announce that. It's DanielMoreArt.com. DanielMoreArt.com. Appreciate Jeff and all those guys up there for giving us the chance to do that. We did it a couple of weeks ago with the Legends print with Nick Saban, and now we do it. Deuce is wild. Deuce is wild. I love that play. Love that play. Love that moment. And I, I, I got them all confused. Okay, let me let me just back go back. Stephen and Raleigh's been waiting for an hour and 11 minutes. He's first up. Robert and Brookwood, second up with an hour and six. Joe and Dothan, one, two. We got you and then Bama Nick. So Bama Nick, don't be mad at me. I am just take them in the order they receive. Stephen, Raleigh, North Carolina. Stephen, good afternoon. You're in the game. Roll Tide, Ryan. Roll How are you? Tide. Roll, Roll tide. tide. Roll Tide. I mean, man, it just feels good, but uh, I wish college it, football would slow down just a little bit. Just a little bit. It, uh, it's always moved so fast. You know, that season gets to roll them, and next thing you know, the you know the playoffs are here. I, I agree the playoffs. I mean, when you – I, I don't know what we're going to do, Ryan, because they're in a few weeks. We're almost halfway through the season. Here in a couple of weeks, we'll be halfway through the season. Oh, it just – it stinks. It stinks, but uh, – so, yeah. you know, I disagree. I, I I don't think this team's going to have a letdown. I don't Ryan. either. I don't either. I, I think that's why we're going to see a confirmation of the South Alabama football team going to come out, knock them in the mouth. And I think you're going to see – listen, we're we're always accustomed, and I know there's always an emotional letdown. I get it. You've got, you know, pretty tough weeks here when you talk about, you know, going on the road, then go back-to-back. When well, you come back to South Carolina, which – it didn't look that challenging. Uh, Tennessee on the road. Then you got Missouri here at home, and then you finally get a bye week. So tough little stretch right here. But let's let's see how this team responds. And I think you're going to see some things well, that they'll put on tape too. This this stretch doesn't seem nowhere near as daunting as it did before the season started. So uh, I know you you can lose any time in the SEC. I mean, Ole Miss proved that against Kentucky. Uh, they were thinking they were all hot and mighty and and laid an egg, you know. But uh, and, and I realize this is the best Vanderbilt team we've seen in a while. But Ryan, that's all relative. It's still Vanderbilt. It's <laughs> it's just yes, it is the best Vanderbilt team we've seen. But we put up forty one, forty two, forty two, and sixty three, I believe. We have. And this team last week. This team last week, Ryan. They left I, points on the I, field. <laughs> They did, and Georgia was three of fifteen on third down. This team, this team has played better than what it seemed. When Georgia got into a, they were they were in debt. I mean, they're chunking the ball. That's what they did in the second, chunk the ball down the field. And when you go into first down, knowing you're going for it on fourth down. It puts your, it, you know, you put your defense just in a different, not a non-normal situation. If we only had them by 14 instead of 23 or 28 or whatever it was, you wouldn't have seen Georgia going for it on fourth down all the time. But this defense held them three for 15 on third down. I just don't see a letdown, Ryan. I, I, I think we played better than, than even imaginable. And if Georgia thinks we don't want them again, I don't think they want to. I don't think they realize what Alabama's going to can do to them. Uh, they did not learn their lesson if they don't think we don't want them again. Because bring them on. I don't think this team is backing down from any comers whenever they might come around again. So far, we'll take Kalen DeBoer. He's undefeated against these top coaches. I mean, he is undefeated against them. And you, you list them off, Ryan, and you would. The coaches that Kalen DeBoer is undefeated again, and it would be like seven of the top ten coaches in all of college football. It's the who's who of coaching in college football right now, and Kalen DeBoer is undefeated. So I know people want to get this going, Ryan. So let's get okay. this going. All right, and we are doing our SEC parlay picks. Let's pick number one, two, and three. Yardage is Bama rushing yards. I'll tell you what, I always like to do this in the 4 o'clock hour. Let's run back through those Please lines just to make down. sure. Yes, sir. Texas A&M going to be hosting Missouri. They will as a favorite, two and a half points. Auburn travels to Georgia. Auburn's, uh, excuse me, Georgia minus 22. 52 and a half is the game total. 48 and a half is the one above. Texas A&M, Missouri. I don't know if I said that. Ole Miss, South Carolina. Ole Miss minus the nine. 52 and a half. Alabama. Traveling to Vanderbilt, Alabama minus a 22 and a half, 54 and a half. Tennessee goes to Arkansas. 
They'll go there as a big time favorite. 13 and a half, 56 and a half is the game total. Central Florida going to Gainesville. It is Central Florida minus the two, 61 and a half is the game total. Non-conference games that we're playing. Miami minus 10 against the Liberals in Cal Berkeley. Michigan, Washington, UW minus the one and a half. Iowa, Ohio State, Ohio State minus 18 and a half. Michigan State versus Oregon and Eugene, 23 and a half for all those Navy veterans, Air Force veterans. We're playing the military game here this week. It's Navy minus 10. Navy travels to Air Force. All right. All right, Ryan. I'm going Alabama. Bama. I don't trust anybody but Bama right now. All right. Pick number two. Um, over. Okay, you want to go? Bama over. Okay, Bama. Over the Bama game. All right, it's Bama over. Game over. Bama over is 54 50. and a half. Okay, fine. I think I picked 56 to 10, so. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, over <laughs> and Michigan. Michigan on the road as an underdog. Bama rushing yards. Where do you want to go? Oh, I'm gonna go uh, two two forty. I got it, Stephen. Thank you so much, and man. Thank, Brian, just real quick. I heard I had to go back and listen to Digger call in the other day uh, what, at, when he was came in after me. And if he wants to just talk swimming and dive and then change it over to our education program. Uh, he he does realize he's calling into a football show, right? Yeah, well, and Digger is almost like he's confused. He almost reminds you of listening to NPR, all things not considered. I mean, we are we're not calling Texas shows, oh. and he's calling Alabama football shows. It, it, every time he calls in, I think about it that we're so much in his head. So Digger, uh, <laughs> Digger down in Louisiana, big Texas guy, loves to call here and smack talk, but. So far, he didn't have any smack talk. I'd love to have Texas in the yeah. SEC title game. Stephen, thanks, man. Hold tight. Hey, roll tight, man. Right back to you. Let's go to Robert in Brookwood. Robert, good afternoon. You're in the game. I hope all is well. All is well, bro. It almost makes you hope Georgia beats Texas later on in the year. That really shut him up. Yeah, I wonder who we would pull for in that game, Robert. God, I know. If we could go back to the system of ties, that'd be nice. Oh, man. Yeah, Texas is uh, that arrogance, man. I never, I never met a Texas grad that didn't have the uh, Texas ego to think that they're God's greatest gift to college football. One championship in 50 years, over 50 years. They won one uh, back in the early 2000s. The last one's 1971. Long time. Mm. But to hear them talk, you'd think they'd won six in a row. What's your plans this weekend, Ryan? Well, I'm going to be hosting the post game show. Um, I uh, got a phone call earlier today, and uh, that'll be on what? It'll six, be on both. It'll be on. Well, actually, all right. So we, no, 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 no. So we do the post game show here. So we do Bama three hours. Well, we do. You, you have a. <laughs> let me just set up the day. Ten o'clock tomorrow, we'll start our pregame show, game day all day. And we'll do our in-house two-hour pregame show. Then we'll roll right into CTSN, which is the pregame show for three hours. Then we'll hand off the game at 3.15. We'll do the game. And then we'll do a post-game show on CTSN. And then we kick in on both stations, 95.3 The Bear and Tide 100.9. So we'll do that uh, somewhere around 8 o'clock is where we're going to be at. So, uh and you'll be on an hour? No, it'll be two hours. be two hours. Two hours? Yeah, two hours. Well, you got a late night. I will. I will. But uh, hopefully no overtimes and a fast game is what I'm pulling for. <laughs> That's a good point. Give me, uh, give me Arkansas. Arkansas. Did you say earlier in the show you had the service academies, or that's just for people that served in the military? No, we, no, we did. We put Air Force and Navy in there. Navy minus the uh, 10 at the Air Force Academy. Yeah, give me Air Force on that one. You doing it to aggravate your buddy? No, I just think it's going to be a better game. Okay. Uh, Navy coming off the big win at UAB uh, last weekend. Uh, Georgia? I'm sorry, pick number three. Uh, I don't know why I'm saying Georgia. Uh, give, me, give me Auburn. I think Auburn's going to play a little better than what people think. Well, I always say the public goes one way, you go the other. I mean, last year we thought it was going to be a blowout, and it was Georgia scoring late to win, 27-20. So. All right, Bama rushing yards. Uh, let's try 257. 
257. Arkansas Air Force Auburn 257. Uh, Robert, thank you so much, man. Roll Tide thank to you. Thank you, brother. You too. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. We'll continue with more. Joe and Dothan, Bama Nick, you guys are coming up next. We'll get to you, Jim and Charleston. I see you. We're coming your way. Coming up in a couple of minutes. T-Town Tide 100.9-1230. WTBC, your home of Alabama Crimson Tide Sports Show starting at 10 o'clock, and then we'll do the post-game show. I invite you to be a part of it, and uh, we'll have some fun. We'll uh, kind of turn it into a lot of callers and a lot of friendly, so hopefully you'll participate. Uh, Joe and Dothan. Joe, good afternoon. You're in the game. I hope all is well, man. All is well, Ryan. Ryan, I just want to say I back you 100%. I, I, I am fully behind your policy of only well-behaved children in restaurants. Now, listen, we're going to have our restaurant. I've already got our ad plan, okay? It's going to okay. go like this. Okay. Gonna have, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got, yeah, we've got yeah, our yeah, ad. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's see. This is, what are we going to call this restaurant? It was a foulest plate. Okay, okay. All right, I like it. And we're gonna, like... we're, we've got our actors sitting in a nice, quiet dining room. Okay. Hello. I'm enjoying this nice bone-in ribeye cooked to a perfect medium rare slash medium with my delicious sides. Notice how you don't hear any noise and screaming children in the background? That's the way we do it here at Fowler's Place. That's Ryan Fowler's Place. What do you think? I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. No screaming kids. Uh, and, <laughs> and, well, you know what we could do? I, I tell you what would make parents correct their kids in restaurants. Charge them double. I, 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 I would put uh, 10, 10, you know, yeah, you, like a, a lot of times uh, yeah. you got a party of yeah. so many people, uh, yeah. uh, automatic gratuity, yeah. throw it yeah. on there. Yeah. Yeah. Your yeah. kid's misbehaving, 15% gratuity. 15% charge. right there. Up, oh, up, oh, your kid screamed. I heard it. I heard it. I heard it. Hey, little Johnny wouldn't say a word. Uh, hop, there goes a tater tot. Yep. <laughs> Oh, man, I'll give you these picks, right? I mean, Joe, be honest. I mean, I'm not, I mean, I'm kidding around. I'm having fun with it, but I mean, it's. It's Ryan, it's the truth. Yeah, Ryan, I waited tables years ago, and, and I love kids, but let me tell you something. I mean, I. When, when you've got kids throwing it and having to, if you have to clean up, especially when you have to clean your section after you serve children or people with, with bad children, oh, my goodness gracious. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they, you don't you don't need to explain yourself. Well, and, and you move that chair or whatever they've got there, and I mean, it looks like. I mean, it's like all over the place, all over the place. You know, little Johnny's over here throwing it, and Sally's over here. She's got her crayon. Oh, my Lord. Oh, oh. Like I said, I mean, it. man, we were one and done. We were one and done. I appreciate you guys keeping up, uh, you know, the population out there. Uh, but, but hey. It's... Oh, yeah. And I, I was going to tell you, Ryan, I think Brett Beard was correct on the smallest crowd we've I... We, uh, I think the, that Duke game. I've got the stat. It was 2010 was uh, that Duke game, so that may have been the last time we played in front of that. You know, not that small of a crowd, but almost that small. Of a crowd. All right, here we go. Here we go. Um, ongoing instruction right now. First Bank Stadium has got it down to 28,934. Assuming full attendance, this will be Alabama's least SEC game in 61 years. Other than Ooh. the COVID year, where you had social distance requirements, right? Uh, the last time Alabama played in the SEC game with such a small, uh, non, uh, non-restricted crowd was October the 5th of 1963 on the same field at Vanderbilt, including non-conference game. This will be the least attended Alabama game outside of COVID since September the 10th, 1988 at Temple when 28,680 watch. So Brent Beard just sent me that. I'm not sure. I hope that's not an article because if it is, I'm plagiarizing the heck out of that one. But, uh, um, yeah, Brent just sent it to me. So it will be the smallest crowd that Alabama's played in an SEC game in 61 years. That's according to my Man, friend, Brent is... Beard. And I hope Brent didn't just copy and paste that from an article. If it is, I need to find out who it is where I can give him proper credit because I don't, I don't like to do that. But, uh, yeah, 61. That's pretty wild. Hmm. Pretty wild. Well, I'll give you these picks, Fowler. I got, uh, I got Bama. I'm sticking it to Lee Sterling. Bama covering the spread. Well, Bama, I like it. I like it. Pick number two. I got uh, got Tennessee. Tennessee. Pick number three. And I got uh, South Carolina. I'm going to go 240 rushing yards. All right. 240 South Carolina, Tennessee, and Bama. I got it, man. Appreciate you, Joe, as always, man. Thanks for being a faithful <laughs> listener, man. Thanks, Ryan. Roll tight. And we're going to start this business adventure, and we're going to put Bama Nick as the manager. Uh, he's going to be the bar manager. Bama Nick, good afternoon. You're in the game. I hope all is well. 
Chug a lug. Oh, chug-a-lug. Lord, Paula. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I've been on hold for an hour and 13 minutes, Paula. You got the wrong music. Okay. Uh... There you go. Let it go, though. Let it go. Let it play. Let it play. Let it play. I want it to play all the way through, Paula. I don't listen to your guests, the other airbrain callers with pictures, taking up my time. Okay. All right. Uh, Bama Nick, would you be in support of our new restaurant, Adults Only? Oh, hell yeah, Paula. Okay. I, I, I don't want to see no harebrained kids running around in a restaurant when I'm trying to pull one and, and clatter and, and watch a ball game. Watch out for that tater tot! Yeah. Yeah, and then they get, they want to climb all over you, and you're sitting in there, and they want to bump up against you in the boots the next day. And my old man used to, used to piss him off. We'd go into a damn eye hop or something <laughs> and be sitting in their booth, and the little raggedy mop head kids are hitting up against Get them off me. He'd always say, get them off me. <laughs> <laughs> it was a trip, my old man. I can imagine. He, he, I can imagine. into a restaurant. He was worse going to a grocery store with a bunch of screaming kids running around. Get on his nerves. Woo, Paula. Woo. Woo. Um. <laughs> ah, Baba Kathy, when she calls in, she's going to have some wild picks today, Paula. Oh, she is? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. We're going yeah. to, we're, we're I mean, I can't wait. Now, Baba Nick, uh, you're going to have to get back on the winning side. You went a couple of weeks there where you smacking everybody yeah. in the mouth. Uh, I, I was going. Well, I was listening to your harebrained so-called handicappers, Beard and Sterling, Sterling, or whatever. Well, you, name you is. picked Ole Miss. They lost. Uh, you yeah, did, I want to congratulate you for uh, sucking up to the liberal state of Illinois because Illinois covered Bama. Yeah, that's only what I won. Yeah. Well, I mean, Bama under did not cover, but uh, yeah, they screwed. But your your tiebreaker was really close. I mean, you were super close there. So yeah, but, now, now, Baba Nick, I want you because you are the number one caller. Number one. Well, caller. you don't treat me like the number one caller. You take all these other hair brains calls ahead of me and make me wait. I take them in order on SEC parlay pick day. Well, you know, you know, if you're the number one caller, you right. bump to the top but, of the list. Now, but here's the thing: we, we that's wanna, one of the privileges of being the number yeah, one caller. Right. Well, and, and tomorrow night I'm going to take you number one. You're going to be the first caller out of the gate. Cause, <laughs> yeah, yeah, by the way. Well, we're, we're at the ball game. Yes. We're going to do no, 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 no. no we're, no, we're going to do a post game. We're going to do a post game show live on the air tomorrow evening after the game. Oh, you got to let me be the number one caller. I want you to be the first caller out of the gate. We're going to do the analyst Bama Nick to analyze the game. Yeah, and then you're going to ask me for my score prediction for the next week <laughs> when we play in South Carolina. Yeah. Well, no, but I mean, I just want you to break down the Alabama Vanderbilt game. Hopefully, it's like sixty-five to three, and you can break it down and share your thoughts. And... Well, Matt McCaffrey might be upset with that score. <laughs> I, I'm gonna give you an insight. I think she's gonna take Vanderbilt in the points. <laughs> okay. But now, at eight o'clock, are you still standing? Oh yeah, yeah I was up. I was. I watched that whole Georgia game, and I, I was still able to walk to the door. Okay. From the patio. So where will you be tomorrow evening at eight o'clock? Do we have to call you? On my or patio. You, are you going to call us or? Uh, I mean, cause Tyler, we, you got my number. Whenever you want me to be a guest or something, I'll oh, just, just call, call you. me. Okay. Okay. Call me. Okay. You got my number. And we're going to go to analyst Bama Nick. Bama Nick. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Who, who are you going to have on that? I mean, who's going to be on you. that covering the post game? You. I'm going to be doing it. Yeah, live. but you're going to be. Are you going to be in there with Joe Gaither? No, it's just me. Just me. I, uh, Wyatt's going to join us uh, on his way back for a couple of minutes. And Oh, that's good. I but, like talking to I mean, Wyatt. Well, because he, well, but the thing is, is Wyatt, if he stayed two extra hours, I'd put him getting here about 1 a.m. in the morning if he had to uh, wait. Wyatt might, he might have to stop over at a roadside bar and get him one, pour him one. Well, he could stop at the uh, – <laughs> what's that? Uh, somebody else had to help me. Uh, there's this – you're going across the uh, – because you see the signs forever up 65. There's a there's – a, there's a, You talking about the gas station? No, not the gas. The Tennessee – no, no, no. I'm talking about the uh, 
There's a nude bar. the barbecue No, joint? there's a nude bar there. You could you could do the show <laughs> a live. Nudie, it was a nudie bar there. Yeah, Might right across. I mean, because it's signs everywhere. All, you know, stop here. Oh, yeah, they got them on 75. Well, maybe maybe right maybe Tony could tell us what the name of that is because it's up there. Yeah, close. Tony Tony will probably know. That's he, his he stomping grounds, but it's, uh, yeah. it's right, off the, right off the interstate. I've so. already got my plan. Look, I got a water bottle here. I'm going to drink the water out of this, and then we're going we gonna to fill it up, and we gonna fill it up hey, with some extra right. stuff and, and have some fun post game. Oh, Lord. Water. Lord uh, have mercy. Put some vodka and orange juice in that water bottle. Well, it's got to look like water, so that way when I get pulled over for swerving, I can just say, look, officer, it's a bottle of water. <laughs> well, put them some vodka, vodka them and Sprite. Them old, Tennessee <laughs> boys, them old Tennessee boys, they reel in that state trooper, buddy. They'll write you up in a hurry. I got a 63 one time and a 55. Uh, 63 and a 55. They only give you 10 miles per hour. No, that, I, I, I found they don't do that in Georgia either when they pull me over one time on Highway 30. Yeah, and guess, back guess, guess Georgia State Patrol is something different. And, and, and guess and what? They're they a, they, they a bunch of assholes. Let me tell you something. You Tony Georgia says State it's Boogie, Boogie, Boogie. Boogie night. Uh, Boogie Bungalow. Boogie, Boogie Bungalow. Oh, Boogie Bungalow. Yeah. Tony's right, Boogie Bungalow. Oh, he says, no, he, he said something else. He edited <laughs> words. I'm not going to say what he said. <laughs> Uh, oh, he's a trip. <laughs> oh, and uh, ask Tony some. He ain't played. He ain't shared my picture on Facebook during my dates and my singing my songs lately this week. He always does that. You've seen him. T- Tony, Tony's on been Facebook. busy. He only called in one time this week. Yeah, I know it. I know it. And I was looking for him like you know Wednesday his segment. You know it was five o'clock. He called in Thursday at five o'clock. And got it. You know he's he, doing he, damage he, control after that VP debate. Well, he needs to put my neck back on the Facebook for my singing and dancing and my my eyes, my midnight eyes. Get some women all fantasized or oh, cumulized. Lord oh. have mercy. I mean, we went from... <laughs> we went and from, I thought Kit Kat won that full eight pick contest. She did, last but she hadn't called in yet, so I hadn't been able to recognize her. But yes, yes, she did. She did. Yeah, and I, I told you that Monday Kit Kat wanted. I'd keep up with y'all. I'd say, I write down every caller's picks on there. That's what I've been doing, listening to your calls, writing them all down so I know who I've got to compete against. Okay. But I knew Kit Kat won. Yes, she did. She did. But, I mean, I hope she can get in today and we recognize her on the air. We like to do that. Well, air, but... give, it, give the prize to her anyway. No, she won. She won. There's no giving it to her. I mean, well, our number one caller her, went one and three. The prize. <laughs> All right. She had dead on on that. All right. I think she's dead on on the uh... She, tiebreaker, was close, too. I mean. Blueberry Steve, your number one international caller. That's your buddy up in Montreal. Yeah, yeah, uh, Blueberry went, Steve. He went, yeah, he was three and old, but he, he was, was way older. Old. Yeah, tiebreaker he missed. But I, yeah, all right, he missed it. So, Bama Nick. All right, fella. Let's go. I'll get old with, uh, with my picks. I want Florida. Got it. South Carolina. South Carolina. And Tennessee. I always knew you were a Tennessee guy. All right. No, I know that they're... they're they're, you know, they're better than who they playing. <laughs> All right, and in rushing yards for your Alabama Crimson Tide, two sixty seven, two sixty seven. I got it, Bama Nick. First caller now tomorrow evening. Now you're going to be the analyst. I'll be. Well, you're going to be. Uh, how are we going to work this out, Paul? You're going to be on the app, right? I got to go on the app and listen to yeah, it. Just yeah, just the like same way. You, yeah, just okay. same. Yeah, same way you do here. Same way you do. And here. You're going to be on there at what time now? Uh, it'll be well. It'll be two hours after. The game will start after the game ends. All right, the game's at four, the game's at four fifteen. So that will be seven fifteen your time, and then oh. two hours beyond. It'll be nine fifteen your time. Jesus Christ, Bobby! You want me to call in at nine fifteen at night? <laughs> Damn, I'm in the, I'm in my perch at nine fifteen, Bobby. You know that when you call me at the house sometimes at eight o'clock at eight. I'm in, I'm in the perch. I'm in the perch, Bobby. Yeah. Well. I mean, you, I'll call you from the park. How, how, I think, I think, it, I how think good do you? How than. good do you want to be? I mean, do you want to be good or do you want to be <laughs> average? I mean, I want to be drunk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's a no liquor night <laughs> game. What do you think, man? Yeah. No, I think you're lying to me too. I think the game's over at four fifteen. I think I need to call you about seven fifteen. 
No. Well, you can call, but we'll put you on hold. And you, you'll, you'll think waiting. <laughs> All right. We got to run, Babinick. Roll tight. <laughs> All right. Roll tight, bro. That boy's crazy. He's crazy. He's crazy. <laughs> we'll continue with more of the game. Tied 100.9, 1230 WTBC. Your home of Alabama Crimson Tides. <laughs> Let's go to Jim in Charleston. Jim, good afternoon. Thank you for calling in. I hope all is well. Hey, Jim. Hey, Jim, 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 Jim. Jim going once. Jim, no Jim. How about uh, Mary? Mary, good afternoon. You're in the game. Good to see you earlier. Thank you for coming by and picking up the package. Good to see you, Ryan. Um, I think, well, I've been rubbing it in Dad today, so I got to call first today, and I won a packet. Oh, uh, setting up to be a good weekend, setting up to be a good weekend. Um, But what I think I'm going to do is you're going to hate some of my picks, so I'm going to okay. go Georgia. Georgia. And Texas A&M. Okay. You know what? Nobody's taking that, but I kind of like it. I... My friend went to college there. I'll pick her alma mater. They, okay. They've been disappointing this season, but maybe they'll pull it off. Okay. And uh, kind of break in Missouri before they get to Tuscaloosa. All right, pick number three. And then Alabama, of course. Okay, that's not bad picks. Bama, Texas A&M, Georgia. Uh, Bama rushing yards. Where do you want to go? I'm going to say 288. 288. I got it. Thank you, Mary. Roll Tide to you. Roll Tide. Right back to you. Uh, we'll come back. Damon in Arkansas. Uh, we're going to get to you coming up in a couple of minutes. Jared in Houston, Texas. I see you. Marty in Arkansas. JR in Coker. SEC Parlay Pick Contest presented by Brian Harden Construction. ASME served the greatest football coaches to ever walk the sidelines. We are talking low Alabama Crimson Tide football. We're doing an SEC Parlay Pick Contest presented by Brian Harden Construction. Giving away some nice little goodies. Uh, El Grand Patron is right there on McFarland Boulevard. We're throwing in a gift card there. Daniel Moore 2025 calendar and a mini print as well. We'll put that in there. And then we'll also, um, you know, we'll put in... Uh, Mark Smart gift card. How about that? Mark Smart gift card. Mark Smart tomorrow. We're going to be cooking up some great barbecue. It is Mark Smart downtown Northport under that Roll Tide Bridge. We're doing our SEC Parlay Pick Contest presented by Brian Harden. Let me run through these lines. Texas A&M minus the two and a half. Missouri's coming to town. They will be as an underdog. Texas A&M minus two and a half. 48 and a half is the game total. Auburn, Georgia. Georgia minus 22. Ole Miss. Hold on. Auburn, Georgia, Georgia minus 22, 52 and a half is the game total. Ole Miss, South Carolina, Ole Miss minus the nine, 52 and a half. Alabama going to be traveling to Vanderbilt. They will as a major favorite, 22 and a half, 54 and a half is the game total, 54 and a half. We've got Tennessee going to Arkansas, Tennessee minus the 13 and a half, 56 and a half is the game total. Central Florida. Central Florida is the favorite in Gainesville against the, the Florida Gators. Central Florida minus the two, 61 and a half is the game total. Miami going to Cal Berkeley, California, the underdog. Miami minus the 10. Miami minus the 10. Michigan going to UW. UW minus the one and a half. That's a number 10 team going on the road, but they are a dog on the road at UW, UW and Seattle. Iowa and Ohio State. Ohio State minus the 18 and a half. Michigan State at Oregon. That game's later this evening. That's why we put these two games there. So you've got Michigan State at Oregon, or we put these two teams there. Oregon minus a 23 and a half. And to salute all of our veterans, uh, Navy and Air Force, Navy, Air Force, it is Navy minus the 10. Navy minus the 10. We made a major announcement earlier that uh, Daniel Moore has given us the privilege to be able to talk about Deuces Wild. Deuces Wild. Number two team in the country coming to Tuscaloosa. Number two, 75-yard touchdown pass, Ryan Williams, Xavier Brown. Number two, the interception. We're doing a print to commemorate that win, and it's DanielMoreArt.com. DanielMoreArt.com. Remember the Legends print? The Legends print's pretty awesome. DanielMoreArt.com. Remember when you check out, tell them that you heard about it right here on the game. And remember the code word, free shipping, The removing the space in there, the game all together. Uh, free shipping on any of the products that they're able to offer. So let's continue, and we're going to take phone calls, and we go here. Let me make it look it up. Damon in Arkansas. Damon, 
Uh, good afternoon, Damon. You're in the game. Hey, Ryan. How you doing? I'm good. Thank you for calling in. So I called in. I've, I've called in a few times. He, I told you the story about my, my grandpa who died two years ago who uh, used to hunt on the lease in Arkansas with Barry Bryant. Oh, know? yeah. Yes, you did. That I remember was my that main now. deal. Yeah. Yes, sir. All I want to say to you right now is thank God for people like Paul from Lincoln who tells the truth. There's no truth told here in, in this country anymore. And I listen to your show every day, Ryan, from Arkansas. I'm a Thank big you. Bama fan. And I appreciate you guys are not woke. You we're know not, what I mean? No, we're far from it. Your radio station is not woke. And I love it. And, and I'm going to say Paul from Lincoln is probably my favorite caller on here. I mean, this guy brings it every day, tells the truth. And that's what people need to hear today is the truth. We get no truth no more. Alabama is still the best team in the world. We all know that. But the truth about our government right now, what's going on, it's crazy, man. I, I, I've i been listening to you for, for years, but I had to call you and tell you, thank God for Paul from Lincoln and patriots like that that speak up. And thank God for you for in and every show with Jesus Christ and, and you know, and the truth. I love it. Well, thank you. Thank you for saying that. Listen, uh, it's not easy. I take a lot of criticism. but um, Oh, I know you do, dude. Uh, Who I, don't? Well, and I usually get chewed out. Uh, three or four liberals will send me a message, and, you know, they hate me. And they love to talk. You know, they, they love to say, don't mix sports and politics. Well, don't don't watch ESPN. If you're not going to mix sports with politics, I wouldn't watch exactly. ESPN. Exactly. Uh, because I'd exactly flip that off. So, right. But that's just a rebuttal, and I get it. And I, I invited the guy yesterday, and I appreciate him listening. I said, man, you are more than welcome to come on and share your opinion. No, he couldn't hold, didn't want to share his opinion, wanted to yell at me off the air. And that's fine. I said, okay, yell away. Doesn't bother me a bit. That doesn't matter. Listen, I went to the University of Alabama. I sit in some of the most liberal classes I've ever had in my entire life here in Tuscaloosa. Um, matter of fact, many of them uh, would, would identify who was conservative, and they would they would make it harder. Uh, I never did anything about it. I just sat there and listened and said, you know what? You guys have made my values even stronger, whether they're conservative or my faith-based. Uh, but I don't ever try to push my faith on somebody else. It's my choice. It's who I believe in. I didn't mean Damon has to do it or anybody else. But it's who I am. Uh, I feel like that I would be coming in and being disingenuine if I come in and pretended to be something I'm not. To be in, you know, because I, I know we, we have a lot of people that come in in our sports business and, and we've been told that you must be a bleeding hard radical. Uh, I'm not. Um, and you know what? If the company decides that they want to go another direction, uh, you can give me a phone call and, and, and we, 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 I was looking for a job when I found this one. So they're, they own the company. Thank I God don't. for you, Rag. Thank God for you. Keep doing what you're doing, man, because here's the deal. I mean, we get so much fake news all the time, and everybody don't understand it. I've seen more Waltz, Paris signs around town. I don't get it, man. I don't get it. Well, I, I saw a but, sign the other day, okay, whether you hate Donald Trump, and most of it, you know, you can't tell me why you would vote for Kamala other than she's not Donald Trump. Uh, I, I saw a sign the other day that said, and you may disagree, but economically, we had a great four years here. And if you don't believe me, look at your 401k. Uh, look at it now. It's like a roller coaster. It's up, down, up, down, up, down. You make some, lose a lot. Make some, lose a lot. I mean, that's just the pattern that we've had uh, because the economy just cannot get going. Go to the grocery store. People are real hurting. Uh, people are hurting in this country. They can't afford to buy things. They can't afford to you know, pay their power bill. That's a real problem. Um, I know. I mean, that's common people. I don't like to see people out here on the side of the sidewalk with a work for food sign with a group of family, knowing that, you know, they're really hurting. Uh, it, it's sad. It would be like us. It, I saw it the other day in 19, what is it, 1912? Uh, what is it, April 18th, 1912? Could have been April 10th, but a Titanic hit an iceberg. It would be like backing up and trying to hit another one. That's where we've been in the last three and a half years. Um this has I know, been a disaster. Right. I know. We're morally bankrupt. Uh, I don't agree with everything Donald Trump does, but economically, I don't either, Ryan. I don't either. But he's the best choice. Well, he I he mean, runs, think about it. He you know, is I, I the an, only choice we have. Well, I heard an interview only. talking about small businesses. Most of the small businesses what support what we are able to do to be able to do what we're able to do. We have some corporate sponsors, but a lot of our sponsors are are people like you and many others that own small businesses that that. And we ask people to patronize those small businesses. Without them, we wouldn't have a sports show, talk show. Uh, 
the restrictions that have been placed on them it is inc- it just it's off the charts. And anyway, so Damon, I appreciate you, man. Thank you for saying it. it gives me a little encouragement, and I, I'm not going away. Uh, I, it, it's, don't go away, Rag. Keep fighting the fight. We all have to fight the fight. If right. people don't understand that, we have to fight the fight. But I will give you this right now on my picks. I don't. I don't want to give you a pick. I'm just going to tell you right now. Auburn's going to lose. Okay. And Tennessee is going to lose. Ooh. That's all I want to say. All right. And Bama's going to win. So uh, Bama's going to win. You dick. I don't have to say that. Do. <laughs> no, you don't. I'm no, you don't. Hey, Damon. Thanks, man. Brian, I just want to thank you for what you do for everybody that listens to you. And I hope that you keep on going the way you're going. And, man, you're not woke, and I love it. And thank God for you, man. Thank you, Damon. Thank you for saying that, man. God bless you. Yep, thank you. Thank you. Have a great rest of your day. Uh, Let's go to Jared in Houston, Texas. Jared, good afternoon. You're in the game. Wow, is Damon our new number one caller, Ryan? Uh, He may have been taking over right there. Bama Nick, better watch out. I'm telling you, you know, Bama Nick and his Partridge family music better look out because old, old Damon's coming for him, I yeah, believe. Yeah, and I've been noticing Bama Nick's been a little bit woke here lately. I mean, you know what I mean? I mean he's he's kind of leaning to the left a little bit. You reckon? Just a little bit. All right, well. So, got to watch what are you out. Gonna do with it? What are you going to do when a mule won't shoe? You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> You put Damon number one. Yeah. Good, great call, by the way. And I'm just kidding, Bam and Nick. But da- Damon, that was a fantastic call, and I agree. You know, there's a, a lot of people that, that that call into this show that that like to like to tell the truth, and um, we, you know, we're lucky to have a platform to do it. You know, there's not many platforms in this in this business that that will allow you to speak your mind. Well, don't 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 and, talk don't uh, talk politics and sports. We well, don't watch ESPN. Yeah, don't watch ESPN. Don't watch ABC. Don't listen to Kirk Herb Street. Don't you but know? What they meant to say is, don't talk politics and sports if it's not slanted the direction that if I. If it's want not to. our, if it's not our way, that's right. I that's get exactly, it. I get it. I mean, I can right. translate too. So uh, yeah, I get it. You know, it's like it's like Damon said about the fake news. You know, I'll, I can give you a, an example of, of how we all know the news is fake. You know, you hear Kamala and all these people talking about, oh, we need the the billionaires to pay, pay their fair share. <laughs> well, they say it all the time, but 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 the people that are interviewing them never ask them. Say, well, Kamala, what what percentage? What percentage is their fair share? Give us a number. That's the question that's not being asked. Well, they can't answer that question. They can't say that because it it kill them. You know what's what is a fair, what is the number? What's your fair share? That's the question that's not being asked. It should be asked, and. Um, you know, there, it's, it's crazy, man. We live in a clown world, but it's all going to come to a head. And it won't be long. Won't be long. Talk about up and down 401k. Get ready for down 401k is all I can tell you. It's coming. It's coming. There's no reason this market should be at 40000 The only reason the market is as high as it is is because the dollar's weak. It requires more dollars to buy a share of stock just like it requires more dollars to buy a gallon of gas. It's no different. Well, the numbers were inflated. I mean, they admitted to that. I mean, there was a million jobs that they overestimated. A million sure. jobs. I mean, a That's million right. jobs. Let That's that sink right. in. So the That's market right. has, has done a little correction here. It's still, you know, fairly up. But uh, who knows? It, it may be down Monday. Uh, so I just pray for those that, that have big-time exposure because it's uh, – it's coming. I don't know when. I don't have a crystal ball. I'm not claiming to know everything, but but there's a there's more than a market correction coming, and um, I just pray for those that have a lot of exposure because there's a lot of people that are going to stand to lose a lot of money if they're not careful. So anyway, all right, Jared. Here we go. Three picks. What do you think? All right, I'm going with South Carolina. South Carolina, got it. I'm going with. UW, Washington Huskies. Got it. Minus one and a half, and I'm going roll tide. Roll tide. Bama rushing yards. Where do you want to go against those Vanderbilt Commodores? 301. South Carolina, UW, Bama, 301. Jared, I appreciate your kind words, man. Have a great rest of your day. 
Roll Tide, my friend. Right back to you. JR, he's woke. JR, good afternoon. You're in the game. I hope all is well. Ah, woke. <laughs> Are you woke? Well, I'm awake, oh, okay. but I'm not woke. Okay, good, good. I'm just aggravating you. I hope. I, I don't expect anything less. <laughs> Who, for me? Yeah, how you doing, all right? I'm good. You intoxicated, good. JR? No, not not yet. Okay, not yet. Okay. Okay. Just making sure I was <laughs> I'm just checking I'm in. actually begging your pardon. I was just checking in, just make sure. Oh, yeah. Well I'm driving so I can't drink. Okay. We're good. But I am pulling in my driveway. Roll tight. Roll, Roll tight. tight. I, 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 I hadn't drank anything in several days, so I doubt I'm drinking anything. I got a bottle of wine I had in there that's been the pop the cork on it, but Oh, you're, you're getting ready, I, uh, I haven't huh? drank a whole lot. I haven't drank a whole lot since I had that head injury. Uh oh. When'd you have a head injury? In July, late July, I had a concussion. You don't remember that? Yes, I do now since you brought it up. Well, I'm still lingering from issues from that. I mean, I um, <clears throat> I sit up real quick from a lay down position. I'll fall over. <laughs> I don't sound good. Right now, I have pneumonia. Uh oh. Joe, yeah, you, I had Joe you, you need to I get had, you a new doctor. I don't know who your new doctor is, who your doctor is, but I need to, I need to get you in one of my di- one of my guys, man. Well, maybe, maybe. But well, I had the flu this last week, and I had COVID a month, a little about a month ago, and so I've been going through the issue. This is the second time I've had the flu, and this flu I just went into the doctor today. That's where I'm coming back from. Is um, they said I had pneumonia, a little bit of pneumonia in in my left lung. So I, uh, I'm I'm still kicking though. Right? I don't feel that bad. So, but I got a little. I, I went in because I told him. I said, you know, you told me to let you know. I felt something wasn't right, and I felt something wasn't right. So it's rattling a little in my chest, and so I said, I feel like it might be pneumonia. Went in there, <laughs> it's pneumonia. I said, man, I need to be my own doctor. <laughs> Super cool. But all right, Ryan. I, all right. I, I'm. I, you know, I am. Um, I'm going Georgia against uh, Auburn on the right. point. Okay, I got it. Pick number two. Well, of course, Alabama. Alabama. You have Clemson on there. We do not. Okay, I'll take Washington. UW, Dub, got it. And then rushing yards for your Alabama Crimson Tide. 175. 175. Georgia, Bama. Let me make it. Can I make that 275? You sure can. 275. I got it. Thank you, JR. Hope you have a great weekend. All right. right, Likewise. Right back to you. Uh, Let's go here. 205 342 9904. Marty, Arkansas. Marty, good afternoon. You're in the game. How you doing, Ryan? Good show. Good show. I'm good. Are you you woke? I'm a woke. I'm woke. Okay. But, hey, I don't drink at all. I've never drank. I never had a drink in my whole life, and I'll be 70 at the end of the year, and I've never smoked my whole life. Hmm. All right. Well, there you go. I'm not saying it's good. It's just that I wasn't around it. And there's a few reasons. I'll let you know when I come down why I don't smoke or drink. Okay. It's bad. But, Ryan, good show. But Matt Stokes not going to be with you on Attica thing. What now? Matt Stoltz or whatever, that older guy ain't going to be out there with you? They used to be at the radio station. Oh, Matt Coulter, uh-huh. Matt Coulter. He is Matt actually, Coulter, okay, yeah. so Dega is this weekend. Uh, he's at Dega. So he is the oh, play, okay. yeah, he's the play-by-play guy. Uh, oh, okay. I'm sorry, play-by-play. Play. He's the public, uh, you know, public PA? address, yeah, PA speaker, uh, Dega. Okay. And so he, okay. he I has, like, yeah, I like he has him. responsibility I there. Okay, well, I'll get to know him next Friday, and that when I or next Saturday when I come down to the game. But I'll be there Friday because I'm gonna finally get your gift to you. Okay. I had to dust it off because I've been up in the storage. All right, Ron, here's my here's my team: Missouri, Alabama, Roll Tide. Okay, Missouri, Alabama. Alabama. Got it. They'll cover. I hope. That might. I don't. I think they're covered. I don't think that's like the time they uh, last time we went up there and they were part. 
uh, uh, Vanderbilt talking back, and we beat them by like fifty-five to seven. Okay, and I'm taking the Hogs. I always knew you were an Arkansas Razorback. No, oh, I'm not. No, no I'm not. No, are. I'm not. No, yeah, I'm not. I hate. You know, I can't. I can't stand whoever picks up trash on Monday. Okay, so I got Missouri, Bama, Arkansas, and then we're going Bama rushing yards. Two o five. Two o five. I mean, I live in the state. I don't. I. I do. I think. I don't know. I, you know, you hear so much, um, but I mean, their radio station, so Homer, even even the ones that out of Little Rock and stuff. But I just think something. I mean, the two coaches have got to save their jobs. I mean, Petrino ain't going. If if what's the face gets fired, Petrino ain't going to get the job. And everybody, oh, he going to step aside and let Petrino. If Petrino don't win, he ain't going to get it. And they both have to win to keep, even if they buy out him, if they win, Petrino will get it. Yep. But, you know, there's where they got to save their jobs, man. I got they you. Gotta, Mizzou, man, Bama, it. Arkansas, 205. Marty, I got to run, man. I appreciate you as uh, always. Hey, have a good have a good day. Hey, let me remind you about Nukes Eatery, 205 University Boulevard, 205-758-2455. Nukes Eatery, 205 University Boulevard for a great French dip sandwich. Uh, club, you know what's better than a club? Double club, double club. It's available at Nukes Eatery, California style pizza, salads. Go see Joe Bromfield, 205 University Boulevard. Also, R&R Cigars, 2703 6th Street. Reagan and Randy Starner be a great place to watch a little Friday night college football, maybe Saturday, Sunday on the NFL. R&R Cigars, R&R Cigars, 27. Go check out the show. Vanderbilt, they go there tomorrow. We're going to have game day all day, game day all day. And, uh, you know, I'm looking up the call board, and I think this next guy is going to be co-hosting with me uh, down at Walk-On. So I think this guy. Um, hello? Yellow. Hello? Yes, hello. Hello? 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 Yes, you're on the air. <laughs> I think tomorrow night's going to do great then. Are you, 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 and I'm telling everybody that you're going to be there live on location. So is that, is that still true? You're going to, you're going to come out and help me, right? <laughs> what time? Uh, well, I mean, two hours, About 11. no, two hours prior to the game, two hours prior to the game, after the game, after the game, after the game. Post, uh, post, 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 post. <laughs> Listen, man, I'm I'm fried, man. Twenty hours. It of sounds radio. like you've been to the booby bungalow. Yeah. Is what it sounds like to me. I did. I made a stop by on the way on the radio station. Uh, <laughs> do, we, do we even have a booby bungalow here in Tuscaloosa? No, no, okay. we don't. Okay. We don't. But there is one for sale in Jasper. Oh, baby! It's not a booby bungalow, but I forget what the name of it is. But I saw something about it. The you got a booby day. trap down in Mobile, as my old man yeah. used to say. As my old man used to say, I get some Ajax won't wash off. <laughs> I'm gonna t- can I tell can I tell a story? You can tell about a story. the movie bungalow. Yeah, you, you were more than happy to tell. <laughs> so as y'all know, I grew up in Nashville. Or most people know I grew up in Nashville, and I attended the university here, so we have to drive past that. So I was I was lucky enough to be able to have two of my buddies from high school attend Alabama with me. So as a group, we drive back and forth and drive back and forth. Finally, one day we said, we got to stop. We, we got to go in. We got to see this thing. And it was the most disgusting display. Of, I, I can't call them women. I, I, I don't know what to call them, but one was pregnant. One was Dude, handicapped. Do what? <laughs> Dude, what? She just what, trying to make a living. Le- no. Tony, I mean, she just <laughs> trying to make a living. <laughs> I've never been to a strip club before where I was paying people money not to take their clothes off. <laughs> no! <laughs> please, please, no! put something on. Here, take this. Go put some clothes on. Oh, oh, oh and they had, an, they had like an 80-something-year-old woman out there. It. it was a pregnant <laughs> woman, a handicapped woman, and an elderly woman. <laughs> and let me tell you. She forgets why she's up there. Let me tell you, she had some things. 
flinging about her waist no, that should have been no, around her shoulder. No! 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 I gotta get out of here! It looks I like, can't do it! No! It, it no! Like, listen! What are those? What are those? What are those gourds? <laughs> it looks like gourds with stretch marks on it. Hang it down! Oh, please. <laughs> yeah, I'll be there tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, hey, but, but you know what I'm talking about, okay? I I think Wyatt, don't you think he should stop and do it? It's like exit 22 or something. Yes. You know what I'm talking yes. about? It's, it's a, still there. It's a truck stop. Right yeah, it's a, there. okay. It's, it's like a, a stucky. I mean, first off, what's the worst truck stop you can go to? You it's just like said the it. Stuckies, right? With the, the With the Yule log, with the pecan log. Oh, yeah, the pecan log. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there were no pecan logs in the booby bungalow after the pregnant lady, the elderly lady, and the handicapped lady went back to back to back. They have like a detox shower. It's more like cocktail weenie. You walk in like a detox shower. Oh, yeah, they had a shower at the Stucky, too. Oh, my God. I had to wear my clothes in that thing. Oh, I had it with y'all. But, but why? That is hilarious. Why? Why? I think you should do the show uh, or call in. From yeah, the, from he the, needs to call in from there because you know they're gonna be having girls, 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 and, and he'll be out there calling. Sounds like Tony's say, got some experience in these things. Uh, well, you know, when I was younger, I'd hit a few, uh, but uh, nothing there. <laughs> but that was the most uh-huh. disgusting display. They used to have a place called Deja Vu. In Nashville, and it said the home of 50 beautiful women and three ugly ones. <laughs> this place took the thing to a whole nother level. It was like 10 skanks, and that's all we got. Oh, my God. The booby bungalow. Wyatt has to do that. Why? I challenge Wyatt to do it. And he has to call in to your show and give us a report, right? Well, it's his show. It's his, it's his show. I'm just, I'm hosting well, it's it. it's your show tomorrow. tomorrow. Well, it's, you know, you yeah. know, I think, I think, I think it'd be good for ratings. And it may be doing a live that. interview with Bambi and Mercedes. <laughs> and who all's Lexus, there. Lexus. Uh, yeah. And, and Miss <laughs> <Yeah>. Ethel. <laughs> yeah. I guarantee you there's going to be a stripper. How long have you been jumping up on that pole? <laughs> yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't really jump up on the pole, but I use the steps, the steps up here to help me get up to the top, and then I slide We're down. We're all going to hell. Float. She's got one of them. She's got one of them extendo canes where it just oh, it doubles. Oh, y'all she comes, quit! Y'all she quit. comes down the pole, and you can hear it going. <laughs> and they come down, and wipe it off real quick. Next. <laughs> Penicillin's not going to clear that up. Social distancing. Penicillin is not going to clear that up. Social distancing. I'm just going to warn distancing. you right now, Wyatt, wear gloves and a mask when you go in that thing. And I'm not a mask guy. I'd mask up, double mask up when you go in on that one. Woo! I was planning on this being really quick. Okay, let's go. Let's go. The pharmacy at Midtown, TJ Thomas. They got stuff to help you with that. Go ahead and load up, Wyatt, before you go. They hadn't closed just yet, or TJ will help you out. But, yes, get you something. Oh, Lord. Oh. It is the pharmacy at Midtown, TJ Thomas. I can't even do this spot. I can't even do it. It's the only sterile comment. So, I you, think I, I sent the new sponsor yeah. a gift card to the booby bungalow and Stucky. <laughs> <laughs> a free year. There used to be a Stucky's on the way to Atlanta. That would oh, be- that was always the worst. I remember you, they wouldn't advertise it. Like they showed the gas station. Say, oh, great, man. I got to get on. Then you pull in and it's a Stucky's. You just keep on rolling right on through the parking lot and going down to the next exit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Give me booby bungalow. Hey, I want to congratulate the the forty seven hundred people that showed up in uh, Flint, Michigan today uh, for one of those big uh, rallies. That's that's big. So, uh, how many? Forty seven hundred? No, forty seven. Forty seven. Oh, forty seven people. Yeah, sixty five hundred. Talking about the, the Kamala can train. I guess they're running low on funds. They only could pay forty seven to show up. I mean, I'm looking at it right now, and it it is oh, it is a trip. Yeah. It says. A new way forward. And then, and then you go to Fox and you watch Fox and you show a poll. It's a dead heat. Dead. Oh, my God. Anyway. 47 people in a 6,500 
in Flint, Michigan. Yeah, dead heat. Would, yeah. Uh, Michigan, Michigan, you know, well, I got to, dead, that's one of the dead heat places. Tony, that's I got I tore up yesterday season. by one of your friends from the left. Uh, yeah, I got tore up, man, off the air, man. It, it ripped me a new one. I couldn't even go to sleep well, last night thinking about everything you said. Pharmacy at Midtown help you with that, too. Uh, the Pharmacy at Midtown, T.J. Thomas. All right, let me get these picks in so Kit Kat can come in and take her victory lap. Yep, she's up. She she's on, up. Is she yeah, she is. She is. Yep. Congratulations. You got to hurry. Yeah. You got to go. Give me tenor C. Tenor C. That's a losing pick, but I like it. Go ahead. Hey, hey, my, how good is my destructive pick? Thank you. Thank you, Tony. Unbelievable. Just don't touch Bama. Leave it alone. Yeah, I don't touch Bama. Give okay. me Central Florida. Okay. Give me the Ohio State University. Okay. Ohio State. University. 237 yards. Roll We're going to run the ball second half. <clears throat> up 50. Roll tide, buddy. Hey, the, the, get a T-shirt at the Bibby Bungalow for all of us. Yeah, Wyatt's going to be Wyatt. doing his remote location. We're going to be at walk-ons, <laughs> but he's going to be at the, uh, yeah. Drop-offs. <laughs> <laughs> we got to go, Tony. Be good. Have a Roll good weekend. Tide. Roll tide. Roll tide. The Pharmacy at Midtown. T.J. Thomas, he's the next save at a pharmacist. The Pharmacy at Midtown. He may pull his sponsorship after that segment. The Pharmacist. That.com. you in this final 30 minutes we're going to be live at walk-ons two hours after the game we're going to be doing a post-game show we're going to have a lot of fun we're going to uh hey we'll we'll, we'll talk about this alabama victory hopefully alabama vanderbilt we're having a little fun today we've we've not really been focused on our opponent uh coach we're, we're sorry we'll, we'll focus a little bit more kit kat can you please get us back in between the, the lines i don't even know how to follow that <laughs> <laughs> Tony, I was laughing so hard. Oh my God! How would you like to be me on uh, this side? I mean, he's, you know, they always say I'm guilty by association. I am today. <laughs> Excuse me if I sound like a frog. I woke up this morning and I've got a sore throat. And I'm not feeling great. So Uh-oh. Ivermectin. I'm, ivermectin. I'm drinking my hot tea. Ivermectin. You got to you got to start ivermectin as we no, get. No, have, no, no, I no. Don't have that. Oh no, I can I can help you out. I I, I don't have COVID. I just I No, have but to, you gotta take it as a preventative. It's closer we get to the election, man, they're gonna release a lot of stuff. Oh, uh, okay. Well yeah. I'll say take that emergency, those packets of emergency well, that, that help. That, yeah, that'll work. But uh, I'm just it telling you me. we're gonna get closer to this thing and they're gonna start releasing all kind of stuff. Yep, I'm sure. They've got that that that, that third the uh package C is like, okay, it's time to take out that briefcase. Okay, we're going to get in trouble talking like that. But anyway, um, well, I mean, you, so how's you, it going? You so and I lean to the left. Tomorrow? You and I lean to the left, so it's okay. Yeah. We're undecided voter here. Yeah, we lean to the left. Okay, yeah, me and my Kamala, my love for Kamala. Uh-huh, yeah. She she okay. may be the dumbest that's ever ran for president. <laughs> you know, Coach Bryant, Coach, makes, Coach Bryant said you got to surround so yourself Biden with smarter smart. people. Coach, Coach Bryant yes. said you found you find people that are smarter than you are. She's able to find one person that's dumber than she is, and that's Tim Walz. Yeah, see, I never really thought that at the stage that O Biden is at right now that someone could actually make him look good. <laughs> she kind of does. So. Yeah, she does. She does. Uh, it's scary. It's really scary. But um. Well, I just was going to call and give my pick. Well, and I want to congratulate you on yeah. last week. Roll Yay. tide. Roll and tide. And do you know those were all mine? Britt had nothing to do with those. He's like, just, just, just pick them. Like, okay, listen, whatever. he would have he would have made you lose a couple. He would have p- convinced you to pick somebody else. Don't let me. Yeah, probably don't. so. Probably so. So this time it's kind of a mix. He, he, he picked one, I got oh, the other this two. Is, so. Yeah, all right. So I'm, I'm going to highlight which one's his and which one's yours. Give me the three picks. <laughs> well, his is South Carolina, and I think that's because his one of our very best friends. He's he he loves South Carolina because his dad. He's an Alabama fan too. I didn't realize you South and Corey Carolina. were. Uh, you guys were so. No, close. It's not cool. No, oh, no, okay. no. Cause Corey's a big South Carolina guy. All right, all right. Oh, I didn't know that. Yep. Didn't know that. Okay. I mean, well, Corey um, Miller from our station. He's big South. He's a Hall of Famer there. Oh, he is. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. yeah, well, yeah. Maybe one day he'll meet Brian. All right. Pick number two. Okay, uh, South Carolina, and then Mizzou. 
Mizzou, got it. And I, I know I picked them last week too, but I'm 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 going with Arkansas again. Arkansas, and then Bama rushing yards. <laughs> this is almost exactly like last week too. I'm going with two seventy six. Two seventy six. Kit Kat down in Mobile. Hope you have an awesome weekend. Thank you for always being a part of our okay. show. All right, roll tide, everybody. Right back let's to go you. Beat em. Uh, roll Bye. tide, roll tide. Uh, let's go to Mitchell. Mitchell, good afternoon. You're in the game. Roll tide. What's happening, Ryan? It's all a roll tide. Roll tide, roll tide. All right, I know it's lightning round, so I'll cut yeah. the uh, chatter. All right, here we put go. Put the chatter aside and get to business. Let's go to the Ohio State University, like T Town Tony. All right, T Town Tony, Ohio State. Got it. Pick number two. Let's go. The Georgia Bull Puppies over the Booger Eaters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that. Roll tight. Yeah, roll tight. And then let's last, Ryan, let's take the over in Tennessee, Arkansas. Is that what, 57? Uh, let me give you the exact. 56 and a half. Tennessee over. Okay. Tennessee over. Bama rushing yards. Let's go 247. 247. Mitchell, thank you, man. Appreciate you. Anything else? That's all I got, and I told you Tuesday, but I'll go ahead and tell you again. A memo to the Vanderbilt Commodores. Of course, it's not personal. It's just business, and you happen to be next. Roll Tide, Ron Fowler. Roll Tide, Mitchell. Appreciate you as always. Let's go here to David. Got two Davids up here. David, uh, good afternoon, hey. sir. You're in the game. Hey. Hey, Ryan. How's everything going, my friend? Good, good, good. This is quick, Dave. Got it? Got it? All right. All right, it's on B Georgia. Georgia. It's on B Miami. Miami minus and the ten. Ole Miss. Ole Miss. Ole Miss. And then we go in Bama rushing yards. Uh, going Bama rushing yards. I got two hundred and six. Six and roll tide. Hey, roll tide to you. Let me remind you about the standardbama.com, the standardbama.com, home of the 20 inch pizza pie, pepperoni, meat lovers, cheese. Design your own cheese sticks, boneless wings, wings. You'll find the standardbama.com, the standardbama.com. Go see our folks right there, the standardbama.com. Full service restaurant, carry out available, also DoorDash. It is the standard. Bama.com, the standard on University Boulevard. We'll continue with more phone calls. Let's go to David. David, good afternoon. You're in the game. Oh, good day. I'm going to go over in the Tennessee game. Over in the Tennessee uh, game. Got it. Pick number two. Alabama and Georgia. Bama. Georgia. And, and about 262. 262. I got it, man. Appreciate you as always, David and Ralph. Thank you, man. Right. Thank you. Do remind you about the Wharf 1976, the work in Western Wear for the entire family. It is the Wharf, the work in Western Wear, Wrangler, Levi Lee. You'll find those Carhartt clothing. Now they're closing at six o'clock. They'll be open tomorrow until six o'clock. Uh, cold weather apparel, short sleeve, just work apparel. Justin, Tawny Lama, Red Wing, Georgia, Double H, Timberline, Laredo, and many more. Steel toed boots, work boot, casual boot, Western boot, uh, hiking boot, casual shoe. It's our good folks right there at the wharf. Since 1976, you know, we've been talking about uh, El Gran. And uh, right past those guys, uh, you'll find the wharf on the right-hand side of the road if you pit by the blue. <laughs> McFarland Boulevard, great Mexican place. We're giving away a gift card today, 2025 calendar, danielmoreart.com. Little Mark Smart gift package as well. Thank you, Mark Smart. Always will remind you about Northport Power Equipment, Northport Power Equipment, Brian and Keith Ellis, Mr. Ellis, Husqvarna Products. All you weekend warriors, they're going to be open tomorrow, 8 until noon, 8 until noon. Uh, maybe you've got some things at the hunting uh, stand to be able to clean up, some pole saw, chainsaw work. They'll have all the supplies. It is Northport Power Equipment. Let's go right back to phone calls, and we got a Rocket Man. Rocket Man. Good afternoon, Rocket Man. You're in the game. I hope all is well, man. Hey, man. Uh, yeah, listen, Bama, give me them dogs. Georgia dogs. Be- now, hold on. Hold on. We, got, we got two different dogs here. You want to go Georgia, though, right? Okay, we got UW. They yeah, call Auburn, them the dogs, too. All right, pick number three. Auburn will not be eating dogs. Okay. They're uh, eating the dogs. They're eating the dogs. They are eating the dogs. 
We did. They are. Arkansas. Got it. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm interrupting you. Arkansas, <laughs> Georgia, Bama. I mean, I'm having too much fun. I'm, I feel like I'm crazy, but uh, I am certified. I'm going optimistic. 305 rushing. I'd love it. 305? I'd love it. I'd love it to pound the football. Thank you, Rocket. Thank you. Rocket Man, where are you calling us from? Huntsville? I work there, but I'm in Colm. Oh, okay. Okay, that's right. You, yeah, t- you told me that. And uh, Real quick, uh, how I found you was when you first started out, and I found you through Twitter. Okay. I started listening to you from the beginning. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate that. Yeah. We, we've Good been day. doing this thing a long time, man. I appreciate you. Appreciate your uh, support, man. And uh, I'm an old Blunt County boy, so uh, you go right down 278, not too far away from you. Yeah, I was born in Aniana. Uh, I, I, I didn't say Aniana. We don't claim Aniana <laughs> now. We're nah, I go through there though. So you were born at Blunt Memorial Hospital. I was. Man. Don't know why. But. How, how'd you make it out alive? I mean, that's. I mean, But you're a Blunt County guy. I am a Blunt County guy. Susan Moore Bulldog. Okay. Susan Moore Bulldog. Yep. Susan Moore. That's y'all's rival, Aniana. So it's just, uh, we fought like cats and dogs, literally. But uh, Our high school was Fairview. Oh, okay. Here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Super cool. Hey, Rocket Man, thank yeah. you, man. Appreciate you. Yeah, yeah. See y'all. Hey, right back to you, Rocket Man. All right, so we do have a line if you want to jump in. We'd love to be able to get to 30. We need about two more calls to do it. We're doing an SEC Parlay Pick Contest by Brian Hard Construction. Uh, BMW Tuscaloosa Fall is here, and so with amazing savings. For every point the Crimson Tide scores, save $50 on a new BMW all week long. Yep, you heard it right. $50 per point. Share on the tide, then drive over to BMW Tuscaloosa. Score big savings. 3537 Scott Boulevard East online at BMWTuscaloosa.com. BMW Tuscaloosa, take your dreams for a drive. Bama Kathy, Bama Kathy, good afternoon. You're in the game. Roll Tide. Hey, Ryan. How are you? Roll Tide. All right. Give me three picks. I'm ready. Okay. I'm going to pick the underdogs. Vanderbilt. Okay. Auburn. Mm. And Michigan State. Michigan State. All right. And yeah. in rushing Nikki's yards for your Alabama Crimson to Tide. Yeah. Nikki's daddy always said to go with the underdog. All right. Yards. The yards are 277. 277. Bam McCarthy, I hope you have a great weekend. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. Right back to you. Let's go to uh, DeAndre. DeAndre, let it rip. Go. Hey, man. How's it going? Bama. Good. Bama. Georgia. Georgia. And I want to say uh, South Carolina. South Carolina. And then rushing yards? Um, Let's go 185. 185. I got it, DeAndre. Thank you, man. Roll Tide, man. Roll Tide. Let's go to Ellis, Manchester, Tennessee. Ellis, uh, good afternoon. You're in the game. How's it going there? I'm good. I'm Bye, good. Fellas. I'm good. I heard Paul from Lincoln was in Manchester. He was. There is a sign there that says "Home of Ellis," I believe. But uh, yeah, yeah, right. I had it. I had it put up. All right, real quick. I got. I got. I got like two minutes right I'm here. I'm going with uh, Ole Miss. Ole Miss got it. I'm going with uh, Ohio State. Oh, Ohio State, pick number three. And I'm going with Texas A&M. Texas A&M, and then rushing yards for the Tide. Three hundred. 300. Got it, man. Thank you. Thank you. Roll tide, Ryan. Right back to you. Let's go, Brady. Brady, quickly go. All right. Alabama. Bama. Georgia and Ole Miss. Georgia, Ole Miss. Rushing yards? Alabama rushing yards. Give me 275. 275. I got it, man. Thank you. Uh, Sir. I know Denon, Denon's been waiting, but I don't know if I. Denon, give me three picks. Go, go, quickly. Uh, Bama, Bama, Georgia. 